All right, so hey I'm gonna everybody. Do keyboard and mouse. Oh, fuck! <laughs> he just started. Hey everybody, hey everybody. welcome to <laughs> Tales of the Creeping Madness. Start. <laughs> hey everybody. Choose your cult. Is the dreaming oh guy and the thousand young? That's not that. That's not the main choice. Okay, so <laughs> I kind of thought there'd be more than two. <laughs> Choose yeah. your cult. A deal so for beginners. Deal for multiplayer. Or two. Oh. Oh well, I guess we know what. Okay. We uh, are well, we've never played this before, so let's go to the advanced one. Clearly, because that's gonna be. <laughs> Contains base That's game events and more... cult specific events. Mods can be played ideal for multiplayer. This is the Just throw ourselves in the deep end, clearly. A small cult dedicated to the waking waking of the great dreamer. When the dark moon rises, the temple of the great dreamer will rise once more from the ocean floor and their time will be at hand. The dreaming eye is for cucks. Thousand the young, <laughs> a cult of sycophantic backstabbers devoted to the old mother. Mother only wants the best and brightest, so make sure you perform or be prepared to face the altar in the dark forest. <laughs> Cultist select. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> Who wants to be All the right, peeps? So I will take the guy in red, because why not? Can I take the woman in blue? Okay, Who do you, do you want green or yellow, bird? Um, I'll be green. Alright, so I'm the fish man. Everyone yes, remember yes, your character because I've already forgotten. I guess it's official. Welcome to. <laughs> you have six rounds to prepare for the ritual. To pass the ritual, you need to successfully complete a roll. Click the card icon to see all the possible rolls. You'll be able to select these rolls at the end of the game. What? <laughs> Wait, at the end? <laughs> what? That was already like should, a con we... somewhat confusing description. This game's. Starts at the end, apparently. I think cool. we should go completely blind. I guess we all have to one. perform a role in the ritual. Presumably, so yeah, at the like end, Yogg. you try to. I guess yeah, that's, it's like Yog, where you, we pick a role at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I guess based yeah, on sense. what you're set up, you can do it. It was just felt strangely presented. You say going blind. We're just gonna not know how to play. <laughs> that's <laughs> well, what I'm talking about. Means. The role specifically. Like you read tutorials. Oh. Each role has a major and minor stat requirement. You need to pass both to successfully complete the role. Look at the card picture and prophecy text to gain clues. The ritual feedback at the end of the game will give you more clues. That comma is redundant. We replaced. <laughs> yeah. This game isn't gaslighting me, is it? There's now no music. Right? Yeah, no, like, there's no audio. Okay. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Okay, right the now. real fucking Cthulhu was just the <laughs> game itself messing with my goddamn mind. <laughs> okay, cool. We're fine, elder then. signs are Please used continue. to unlock stats required for story events and roles. You gain elder signs at the end of the game by completing hidden objectives. Elder signs are capped at 75. <sighs> hidden objectives. You need them for story events, but you gain them at the end of the game. Maybe it's like a. a I feel like a they phrase everything confusingly. <laughs> yes. Because uh, it's the creeping madness. Hover over stat icons to see tooltips. Yeah, okay. The main way to gain stats is to perform actions at one of the locations of the map. At the top of each location, you can see a series of diamonds. The color of the diamonds coincides with your stats. The diamonds on the left show you the stats you will gain for choosing action one, and the right shows action two. So that's the two options you can get. Interesting. Interesting that they'll if, tell you what stats they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're struggling to see the different colors, you can activate colorblind mode. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, game. Each story has five parts, which you can follow by looking at the diamonds at the bottom of, of the text area. The white diamond indicates your current progress. Activity feedback explains the action you have chosen and gives you guaranteed stats. Random event. The spanner in the works, aimed at disrupting your well-laid plans. Read carefully for clues on how to proceed. Event decision. Choose one of two actions. Each one will give you stats. But, uh, uh, yeah, so look at your current stats and choose why, uh, carefully. Some actions have no requirements indicating that the lack of, a, of an indicated by the lack of an unlock button, these will give you less rewards. Hmm. That's too much. That's like more granularity than we'll remember. <laughs> event <laughs> <Yeah>. feedback. <laughs> With your decision made, it's now time to face the consequence. Even if you fail, we'll give you a little something. Pay attention to feedback. This will provide clues on the stat requirement. Event summary. Summarize stat results on all five parts. Hey, hey, Colonel. Mm -hmm. uh, is spanner slang for penis in Europe? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. What? <laughs> well, it depends, right? Like in the UK, in British English, like. Okay, this story's going to take way too long for me to explain. But anyway, in some parts of the world, Spanner in the works would mean PP in the gears. So we'll just uh, bear that in mind works. and move on. Interesting. All right, then. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's ne it never means a good thing. So that's, a, that's the, not a very good sign for <laughs> that guy's Spanner. Uh, multiple characters. The character with the highest influence stat will always play first. If there's a draw, the character will play in the sequence that you chose them at the start of the game. Only one character per location per round. At the end of the game, only one character per role. Okay. The ritual. Choose the role that you think you can pass based on your stats. Uh, carefully read through the feedback for clues on which stats were needed and maybe in this life or the next you will cause the end of the world. Hooray. A good thing hopefully so it's the reverse yes. yog yeah at i was gonna say we're the baddies we're trying yep. to end the world with we are saving. the yog it's just the neighboring town of dicks at the end of the game Spanners. you will gain elder signs <laughs> ha. you can use these to, on your next playthroughs oh you do to unlock some roles or events to make it easier huh oh there is a progression if you want to expand your story base head over to the mod section and just Get your fan fiction up in there, apparently. <laughs> Just install <laughs> other people's fan fiction. Well, that's it from us. If you want to... Be... I think that this game wants us to succeed. Yogg didn't want us to succeed. Which is succeed. weird for a Lovecraftian game. I guess they both yeah. kind, of, yeah. kind of were in some way. But that yeah. was... This is basically... Yeah. In this case, I think the tutorial might have been like three times longer than it needed to be. Just because of a lot of the elements... We're kind of maybe just explaining the automated processes that we won't have to think through anyway, like how an event mm -hmm. resolves. But we'll see. Yeah, it's really weird. All right, so first up Whoa. is blue person. What do we have here? We got the town hall, the Miskatonic University with the blood fountain. Town hall's got Ooh. an eyeball coming out of its front. That's spooky. The Church of Starry mm -hmm. Wisdom has <laughs> a help sign. <laughs> <laughs> the magic shop. Oop. They've had an incident. Oh, it's shop. The witch's hut Shop has had another incident. They got Death Eaters. Madame Fufu's mm -hmm. got, a lot, got a lot of gold, empty-looking diamonds, yeah. apparently. Ooh, yeah. legs for... Double or nothing. Legs for days. Spanners says legs for, for days. days. Downtown <laughs> has hell. <laughs> the hotel. Oh. <laughs> and the pizza That's slice. subtle. And they got pizza, though, so how bad could it be? <laughs> and the Arkham Sanitarium. I'm going to downtown. You're gonna go to downtown? Mm-hmm. Because of the red things. Plan a heist so or perform I'm... a reaping. Wow, those are some extremes. Yeah. I'm gonna perform the reaping. So this uh, will give you, you would. red and pink, which I haven't checked what those are yet. It's hard to see stats. Tea. So blue is influence, your rank in the cult, how you influence people through the story. Uh, through your strong personality or through blackmail or force. So charisma. That, those are a variety of unrelated things in some ways body how strong and healthy you are and your ability in combat so you're getting that one and performance mm -hmm. your artistic ability and how stealthily and stealthy and sneaky you are your ability to influence people through lying magic your ability to cast magic or use magical artifacts so purple is magic green is knowledge magical and scientific knowledge your ability to read and understand magical tomes reading comprehension that's what we've been failing most so far in this video. Uh, a little orange, sanity. Orange is sanity. Possible. How sand your mind is. How many voices it's making. The more sound it is, the more voices you hear. That's why it's called sound. Uh, how easily <laughs> you can resist going crazy when negative will change to insanity. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Riches. Straight up gold. How rich you are. Required to unlock certain events. So those are all the stats. So we can review them whenever we need to. Okay. Mm -hmm. You clicked on this one. The Ancient One demands sacrifices. At night, you scour the slums for worthy victims, slaying gangsters and vigilantes and chasing down those who run away. You gain two body and one performance. I feel like slaying vigilantes makes you the bad guy, doesn't? Well, I guess we are. Yeah, and we gained, yeah, we are. We trying we gained, to end the world. And we gained a body. Mm -hmm. or, he, or, he, or he gained a body. I gained two bodies, yeah. 
Yeah, it's the Ooh. two people you killed. <laughs> It's the pathologic sense of gaining bodies. Uh, I'm gonna kick the entire stuck ass. them to himself, and it's just running around doing weird things. With them. You, you, uh, uh, we've got an Italian line here. You were uh, still a bit new to this whole evil <laughs> world-ending cult business, but you were very keen to make good impression on your new friends. So, needless to say, when Acolyte Campbell came to you with a great business opportunity, you knew that you were going to go far in the cult. Turns out, Acolyte Campbell had procured two tons of unicorn meat, which exists and is here, which he had assured <laughs> you would make an excellent sacrifice for the final ritual. Only trick That's was... a lot of unicorn, right? Yeah, like two a tons lot of, of unicorn. It's like, it looks unicorn like that's 12 Look, unicorns. it was a big unicorn, okay? Oops, I clicked the next or just one fat-ass unicorn, okay. Yeah, yeah that's true. it's, it's fewer unicorns than it would be people or elves or whatever, but like, <laughs> still a lot, not one unicorn, like it's a lot of unicorns still. Yeah. He assured you with a little bit of money, he could secure its release, and the two of you would be rolling in praises. I accidentally clicked past the previous... I don't know what the downside was stuck of this is. I don't know what it said. Oh. Oh, I don't have re I'm gonna pass. Also, it's unicorn. <laughs> you don't want unicorn me? No. Okay, okay, I see you're a smart kid, Campbell began. So tell you what, I have this opportunity, he said as he flung his arm over your shoulder. Now don't tell anyone, but this cousin of mine is selling what he calls futures. Oh. It's a kind of hush-hush, but I'm willing to let you in on the ground floor. Decide, deciding that you might as well check it out, you met with Campbell and his cousin a couple of nights later. Turns out, Cousin Campbell has discovered a spell which showed you your future. Oh, that's very different. It's also yeah. way more involved than an event in Yogg is. It's like a... You, yeah. You, you made a choice, welcome to the visual novel. Looking to the future, <laughs> you saw how strong you would become in, with the depths. Gain one magic. Unfortunately, you also saw Campbell and his cousin standing over your dead body. <laughs> As the spell ended, you opened your eyes to a giddy Campbell. Well, what'd you see? Campbell asked excitedly. A change of plans, you stated as you pull out your gun and shot the both of them. Gain one body. Nice. <laughs> Boom, one wow. liners. Wow, that was a successful event. I don't yeah. know if they're all going to be that like bountiful, yeah. but that yeah. went well. Three, so three body, one lying ability, one magic, and one necklace. <laughs> oh, that necklace is cool. with a, What is that? With a target uh, on it. Not, not it itself. You, you gain, gain or lose, or lose? No. not it. That's what? not it. I it means that, it means that you won't get uh, sacrificed in the end. Oh. Not it. Maybe. Is it yeah. the immunity idol? Yeah. Oh, What's is that this? me though? That is survival you. of the fittest. Passing events oh. give stacks of not it. During the sacrifice uh. phase, use the stacks to vote on who must be sacrificed. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is yeah. Disappointed mother. Failing an event spawns a dark young. Going to a location with a dark young starts an encounter. Man, okay. there's That's a lot of layers to this. It's distressing sounding. This is cool. I like Yogg likes. Alright, so what's the top middle thing again? The rolls are the prophecy. Escape so these are, sacrifice. I you're probably gonna wanna hover. Hints and escaping the sacrifices, I don't know. You're probably gonna wanna hover over all the bits again because everybody has different pluses and minuses. So to make an informed decision decision. Yeah. Uh, not these not those ones, the ones in the main map. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I like how we're over these icons again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. The different events. Okay. Ew. <laughs> you don't want to go to the shop hentai again. shop. I want to go to the fart Ew. hut. <laughs> Farted a dementor. <laughs> Downtown uh, is consumed. We're going to go to church. Uh, was it up here? Not middle. No, there it is. The Church of the Starry Wisdom. The inside's usually a bad. I learned that from Bloodborne. Yeah. Indoctrinate or organize a bake sale. <laughs> Indoctrinate. It gives you lies <laughs> and money. <laughs> Putting on your best fake smile, you convince the hapless to join your cause. Gain one performance yes. and two influence. An entire morning of chanting has made you thirsty, and you strolled over to the communal water fountain for a much-needed drink. Some of the other adepts have already gathered around the fountain as you approach them. They give you the, here comes the new guy, once over. People say you should... Mean? You're the new guy, and they're like, Ugh. 
Here he is. <laughs> okay, I guess so. <laughs> People say you should take it slow when you first join the in office culture, but your philosophy has always been to go fit. <laughs> you can always you can make up a story about fighting a, a oh. Rakshasa. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, that should make them too afraid to try anything against you in the future. Alternatively, you can make up a story about stealing a Terra egg. The process requires a very tricky spell, which you have no idea how to perform, but there's no way that any of the other adepts will know it, so you can just make stuff up. Take a deep breath, you tell them about the time you... What's a Rakshasa? Wow. Uh, a Rakshasa like a... is a humanoid tiger-like being that usually is from one of the lower depths of the hells. Rakanisha. Uh, they are yeah. immune to most types of magic. They are very dangerous in, creatures. In Dungeons and Dragons. Are they in... Um... Are they from Monster Hunter World? Because they sound like a Monster Hunter World uh, monster. I'm pretty sure they're from Hindu tradition. I think so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hinduism also in... is probably a little bit older than Monster Hunter lore. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna go with. I think let's go. Let's go big. Like I said, and we're gonna say that I wrestled a Rakshasa. Oh jeez. I think that's a good call. You say thank you. I think this might be the lower risk. Uh, Gambit. Yeah. This one was about like some spell so? that you don't because th that you I, have that, no idea how to perform. That was the phrasing, Ellie. I mean, they both sound like a big deal, but it sounded mm -hmm. like this. The bigger lie was the egg because it's like pff, no one will know that I don't know how to ca cast that spell, right? Yeah, they went out of their way to justify you saying that. So. Oh. I feel like I feel like it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna fail if I go with the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's very much setting me up for one of them to be like, oh, yes, to tell um, me about this well, spell actually, in much detail. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get actually, fucking reddited. Um, so I don't want to get reddited. So we're going to say <laughs> that I wrestled the Rakshasa. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get ratioed. Ha! You right. shout boastfully. That reminds me of the time I wrestled the mighty Rakshasa. I think that's bad. You stand next to the most fragile-looking cultist in the group and slap him hard against the back. As he topples over, you grab him by the scruff and shake him around energetically while you tell the group oh, about your brawl. First, I used a sleeper hold, you explained enthusiastically, your biceps curling around the poor fellow's neck. As the beast begged for its life, I used my signature double-knee backbreaker move. The little man's eyes bulged as you lifted him above your head with a triumphant roar. There was a tiny yelp as you smashed his body over your extended oh. knee. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> We're terrible people. After your dramatic performance, you help the dazed fellow to his feet and give him a good-natured nookie. Impressed by your obvious physical strength... Obvious. Uh, your colleagues walk away with the mental note never to pick a fight with you. You gain two influence. You just all... And nobody? You just all lies. <laughs> but that was good. That's he's pre he's there. pretending to have body when he well, don't. Well, that's because I picked up the weakest person. I, mean, like, I didn't. I, I picked up a wet noodle, basically. Why did he? <laughs> why did he gain two influence and not two performance? Because I'm gaining influence over the over a cult. Yeah, but you were lying. Be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah, a lying that, skill. Sorry, built off of lies. I feel <laughs> that's like kind it of the been... thing that they do. Okay. Um. That was hmm. dickish. Let's see the options yes. here again. Yeah. I'm going to go to the university. Nerd. Nerd. Ba -ba 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 the Miskatonic. Uh, I'm going to go on an expedition. This can't end terribly, I'm sure. Field trip. You were devoured whole. One, just one slide. <laughs> Probably. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> You convince the university faculty to send you on an expedition. You push your body to its limits, searching for lost artifacts and forbidden knowledge. You gain one body, one knowledge, one magic. After a hard day's work, you were off to your first cultist mixer. A sort mixer. of know-your-fellow-world-destroyers kind of thing. After a few drinks, okay, more than a few, you figured it was time to impress your new mates. You could show a spell you had seen and really get this party started. Or you could suggest you get some tattoos, which could help with the bonding process. <laughs> Drunken it's tattoos is always so a bad idea. Weird. Oh, that's <laughs> weird right there. The tone is all over the place. Just imagine what does villains. It, I feel like what I don't have enough look? magic for this yet, so I don't think showing off my magic is a good idea, because I've only got one magic. 
What's the what? Oh, the, Elder what's Science. The unlock? Yeah. Oh, nice. So I'm assuming there's. Wait, will that unlock Elder Science? Yeah, for later, for next playthroughs. It just you know basically. I'll show off your magic. Ooh, ballsy. Fortunately, you would learn a trick or two during your first week. You cleared the area and told the others to watch this. You wiggled your fingers furiously and slowly. Furiously and slow. What? <laughs> oh, so slowly. The table, but furiously. The table lifted about <laughs> two inches off the floor. Everyone just stared. Suddenly, the room erupted in drunken cheers and applauses. Party on! You all danced the night away. Gained two performance and one influence. Hey, all right. That's wow. a lot. That's, that's a, really that's wow. a good gain. That's a stat table spread. Table dude. Table dude. Six, Six. points. All right, so how am I going to fuck this up? Mad damn Fish foo -foos. <laughs> I can be the richest boy of them all. You need to talk money that. pence. That's a problem. What do Why we got at Madame? We could gamble, gain or lose money. What if I have negative money? I... You spend your time gambling and feeding the debaucherous habits of some of the more weak-willed patrons. The fools quickly find themselves in your debt, which is good because I had no money to bet. <laughs> you won two riches and gained one influence. That was less than it said. The, <laughs> yes. the cult had sent you with money to bribe an official. No, where was it? <laughs> On the way, you had a thought. As a cultist, it is kind of expected oh of you God. to be a backstabby son of, gun, uh, son of a gun. Therefore, the logical course of action would actually be to keep the money for yourself. It would be easy to pull off either way, but if you keep the money, you'll have to make it look convincing. Alternatively, carry out, carrying out the drop-off might lead to some more blackmail opportunities. Make it look convincing with my inability to perform or lie, basically. Not that anyone else has been called out on their lies so far. Mm. Yeah, so far it's going really well. I'm gonna keep all of the money. This will go well. <laughs> you step into an alley and start beating yourself up. After a few minutes of throwing yourself against dumpsters, smashing your head into a brick wall, and even biting yourself, you find a good Damn. spot to hide the cash. Lose one body but gain two riches. I have negative one Damn, body. Negative one. Oh no. Does that change the... Uh... That's bad. I need my body. Does that change the stat at all? I think it's his body. Yeah, it's at negative one now. Okay, because sanity changes to insanity, so I was curious. Yeah. Oh, right. It's probably not I'll good all the same. In no, body. it's probably not good at all. Later, you put on an Oscar-winning performance as you told about your dreadful mugging. In one performance, that's less than I would think. You guys might have permanent stats that better you as a person, but I have leading money gold. I mean, so to be fair, you who's look like the, the real kind of person winner? who has negative one body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. He looks Brutal. like he's got one foot in the grave. We've all got one it stack of... It looks like Dr. Manhattan. It's the deep ones. That's You know what? That's fair, Colonel. Cycle two. Oh, Cthulhu. Oh, oh it's goes first. Um, oh, right. Influence. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Your blue I'm stat affects order turn order. King Town Hall. Um, Upper left corner. There it is. Hot <laughs> dog! Do, do you notice that it's... Uh, God. It's, I think it's that's... the guy from Facebook. It's the guy is from that Mark Zuckerberg? Facebook? No, that's Lovecraft. No, it's... It's Lovecraft, I know, but he looks oh, like the guy from Facebook. It's HP Lovecraft. Oh, nice. Nice burn there. <laughs> okay. Um, blackmail. You organize compromising situations for key officials in government and aim to collect it at an opportune time. Gain two influence and one riches. A thunk against your head sent you spiraling into oblivion. Not That's again. You thought, as unconsciousness claimed you. A splash of cold water and a nudge from a boot caused you to spit up, uh, sit up straight with a gasp to stare up at your giggling attackers. Ugh, you grimaced as you recognized your assailants. <laughs> Bored, rich kids. Oh, I thought it was going to be the people that... <laughs> That's me, isn't it? <laughs> or what's you? What's you? You're the bard. My You're character. The bard. I'm the bored rich kid, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I just I thought it was gonna be the people that you shot in the face. 
Like they're back and they're still good, <laughs> still standing over your dead body. Here it comes. Surrounding you, each with a hunting rifle in hand, were the sons of senators, judges, and other rich people who didn't care what their children were up to as long as it was for, far away from them. And from the sound of waves in the distance, you guessed that you must be on a little island off the coast of Martha's Vineyard, where these brats <laughs> hunted their victims. You're not sure how it started, but over the last couple of months, these kids have been abducting people and hunting them for sport on the little private island. Well, old timer, time to run. Uh, Kennington Blake, that's what a name, smiled as he tossed you a tiny knife. The most dangerous game is bird. <laughs> uh, Kill them or play hide and seek? Let's see. I think that killing the son of a, of a corrupt senator might be a really, really fucking bad idea. So I'm going to go for time for some hide and seek. All right. You grabbed the tiny knife and charged into the underbrush. You smiled a wicked smile. Oh, these poor damned fools. I'll have such deadly traps waiting for you, you thought before tripping on a root, crashing through a bush and careening off a oh. cliff into the ocean below. I don't think I'm passing this one. <laughs> you woke up on a beach a while later, coughing up water and spitting out sand. At least you were alive, but the seawater had ruined the tiny tome you kept in your coat pocket. Gain one sanity, but lose one knowledge. Womp, you have womp. negative knowledge. Fails. Yeah, but it's I'm richer, lie. so who gives a shit? He's so, turning mm, into the a charismatic young. but really dumb person. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, a socialite. Um, Remember, yeah. there's a secondary stat. Okay. It's not just the main I'm stat. I'm next. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm going to go to the magic shop. The magic shop? Yes. I'm gonna you know, do some dangerous stuff. I'm gonna cast some spells. Oh no! Oh yes! I am colors this out of space. This is, this is how you get spirals. Do you want spirals? Because this is I how, do want how you get spirals. I don't think. Okay. Yeah, they're not. They're not all Lovecraft titles. But then when it's colors out of space, mm -hmm. you summon Eldritch Horrors and open portals oh, to, the other going. to the other planes. <laughs> your power grows, but you can feel your sanity slipping. Gain two magic, but lose one sanity. It's now insanity. I'm insane! And I blew it. Okay, so note to self. It's pronounced Carvago. Carvago, not Carvago. 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 Yeah, weird. I know what they were going for, but by messing up the vowel on the last syllable, yeah. it kind of throws it off. <laughs> yeah. What? Levio I don't... <laughs> Leviosa. It's supposed to be Carvago, not Carvago. <laughs> like, Leviosa. <what? laughs> Nobody pronounces Carvago. A little um, mishap happened when, after work and in your laziness, you had to decide to open a portal to your home and save yourself the eight mile walk. <laughs> That's what magic's all about, man. Yeah, yep. minor conveniences. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, because of your pronunciation and error, you seem to have opened a tiny portal to a different world. No stranger to weird portals, you decide to look before you leap and walked up to the keyhole sized portal and peered through. You could see what looked like a laboratory of sorts, with rows of cylinders and an operating table. There was something bobbing in the cylinders, but you couldn't quite make it out at this distance. Now, Mommy Dearest encouraged a spirit of adventure, but then again, there was that whole thing about curiosity and cats. Enlarge the portal to go through. I'm <laughs> insane, I'm not thinking about what this What could one. go wrong? What could go wrong? You poured your puny magic into the portal but can only manage to get it to be about as big as your head. Well, at least I should be able to see better, oh, no. you thought, as you stuck your head through and then, got, <laughs> oh, and then no. you got a Resident Evil elevator. You're, you're about to lose knowledge. And hit your head. <laughs> On the other side, a Mego was startled from its dissection of a human brain as you present him with a new one uh, <laughs> by a head sticking out of thin air. You tried desperately to pull your head back as the Mego approached you with a bone saw in hand, but found yourself stuck. Oh no. Now, if someone were to enter the magic shop, they would have seen a figure flailing around frantically with its head vanishing midair. They definitely wouldn't have heard your hysterical screaming as the Migo cut open your skull and oh, removed no. your brain. Lose three sanity. No! Wow. Oh, wow. You're on an insanity streak at the moment. 
Fortunately for you though, the Migo only kept the brains of the best and brightest, and since you seemed to be neither, they put some of your brain back, and with some effort, pushed you back through the hole. Lose two knowledge. Oh, I wow. Oh, oh, I failed one. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. It looks like pluses, but this one's insanity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like a minus six and a plus two. Oh, boy. I well, don't, I don't next think... turn we're gonna find out what the dark ones do because we have two failed events so far. Oh yeah, we have a uh, magic shop. Yeah, one and uh, one at the. Oh man, university and the magic shop. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if I was exclusively motivated by money? I want to organize we're a bake sale. That feeling. Even a pretend church needs a real bake sale. <laughs> <laughs> You spend your time making beautiful cakes and selling them for a tidy profit. In one performance and two riches. In your ongoing sycophantic attempts to please mother and not get put on the chopping block, you have come up with an interesting plan. Foster care! The problem with progeny is that they just get spewed out by mother and most of them just die somewhere in a desert or a clown infested sewer. Wait, what? Enter Hold the on. Church of Starry Wisdom Foster Program for a very particular children. I read oh. that book. Oh. <laughs> nice parody. This game yep. is so weird. <laughs> it's great. Well, at least that's what it's yep. called by I'm cultists in the it. seventh circle. For everyone else, it's Margarita Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> so what probably needs to be mentioned is that the church keeps an entire vat of the more fragile progeny in the basement. These poor darlings were still at their single cell state. Require proper human hosts to survive. They're like the Yerks from Animorphs. Sure, once they have reached that difficult adolescent stage, they will erupt out of their host and travel the world to find themselves or something. But until then, they will require constant nourishment. Since most people before the seventh circle would usually feel disinclined to host a parasitic organism that will eventually erupt out of their eyeballs and oh that's way worse and cause you to die a horrible death, it was decided to introduce the progeny in a cocktail form. Margarita too. Oh no. The yep. problem was that wow. getting the cocktails to taste like margaritas while still ensuring the progeny don't die before consumption was getting a bit costly. Foster <laughs> care is dosing people with alien parasites. For the program to survive, you could put in some of your own cash, or you could just bite the bullet and drink the whole vat yourself. Oh. Oh. My god. Oh, this is... You're prepared for this, then? Sure, in a few years, you would die an agonizing death, and you wouldn't wish... that you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy, but isn't that what parenthood was all about? Oh my god. Oh, that's the un What are you doing? The, the top one unlock doesn't unlock the thing. Yeah, it doesn't give you more of that stuff at the end. That's, that's mm -hmm. better progression choices. Bleh. But the, uh... Technically, we're trying to end the world, so to, I, may, I might not never have to... Uh, I'll, this just gives me more incentive to never face... To end the world, yeah. The, uh, it, just, it gives me more incentive to not have to face that, yeah. Otherwise, uh-oh. At <laughs> the same time, though... Infecting Fantasy. everybody with aliens that then just explode out of them all in the same like month or so like years that's from now is a hell of a that sounds lovely. nest egg. <laughs> yeah, that's long-term strategic thinking. Yeah, I just want to see well, the that's assuming that the world stays up yeah, long but enough. For just imagine the spectacle. <laughs> now, if you were totally honest, you weren't really the philanth uh, philanthropic type. Sure, your little plan made mother happy. Game two, not it. Wow, two. Wow. Damn. In the lead. But the, the side effects of the little parasites were too good to ignore. Extreme suggestibility? That's right. Within a week or two, everyone who drank the margaritas will be willing to do anything you said as the tiny worms started gnawing at their white matter. Gain to influence. Damn. Heck, you even managed to sell the stuff to some bootleggers and the church and its coffers have never been fuller. For it? Oh my wow. god. Wow. <laughs> what? Damn. Wow. Wow. You got, you got, yeah. Was, what if I was only motivated eight by one money? Oh, wow, I become the most it. powerful fucking person in the game. I got eight stat points and surprise. three not it. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck, Blue. <laughs> so let, let me look around a little bit. Um, so I can see. Uh, what? There's not very <laughs> many places that you can go I right mean, now. do you, do you see it? Yeah. 
what? That's that wasn't oh, the big. That wasn't no, there before, wasn't was it? <laughs> no. I don't think so. I don't think That's that like was one of the dark fiends or whatever. They're the dark no. young. The dark young, yeah. Oh, I th yeah, I think yeah. Oh it's, yeah. yeah, one of you's over here. So. Oh boy. They, they said going somewhere with a dark young makes an event happen. So you two are both yes, gonna make something encounter. happen. Where you go next? Uh Okay. So it's a. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it Colonel's turn? Colonel yeah. Blue. So. Yep. Uh, Show me the top right one. Oh, Witcher's Hut sounds good, but... That one, oh, that's orange, okay. It's a sanitary. It's a sanitary. Yeah. Sanity. Let's go to the Witcher's Hut. I need sanity. I'd like to gain some like sanitarium. So it looks like the it's gray white wipes for your brain. <laughs> that's that's what, I, what it seems to be. Yeah, the Witcher's Hut will give you like, mostly body. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the second option. One knowledge and two body, or one body, one dark meditation magic, and one loss. Of Is that one gray? It's a sanity loss. Yeah, it's a sanity loss. Do you want that? I do. All right. You want to be insane with me? As your mm. consciousness floats through the currents of the depths, your body is racked by the dark energy coursing through you. As your mind returns to your body, you realize that not all of it is present. Gain one magic, one body, but lose one sanity. Mother wasn't what you would call loving. She really liked death, <laughs> mutations, and all kinds of monstrosities, but you wouldn't really say she loved anything. Isn't that line, like, really similar to one from The Bouncer? The Bouncer. <laughs> I wouldn't call that loving or something, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call that love. Or caring all that thing. <laughs> Lady Brynn had to read. Mm -hmm. uh, there oh, was, no. however, one thing that she most definitely hated. Fairies. <laughs> Mom despised the little freaks. Now, seeing as the swamp was crawling with the little mischievous midgets, you had thought that of a plan to discredit one of your fellow cultists. If you could convince the fairies to pretend to be best friends with one of the other cultists, it would make Mom furious and even up your chances of surviving the ritual. Fortunately, fairies love shiny things, and you could probably get them to help you if you gave them that golden statuette you had acquired. Wait, where did you get this? Mine's I didn't. two riches. I'm like, what? Maybe, maybe they'll do it for free. Maybe they'll do it for free. <laughs> I mean, it's the only option right now. Of course we will, they told you. Admittedly, you were quite surprised. Maybe you had misjudged the little demons. <laughs> the little demonic freaks. Just wait here and don't move, they said, and then they pull the lever that makes that specific part of floor give out. I've watched too much yep. of uh, Disenchantment. Oh, there it is. God. Now yep. the large X drawn on the mud should have probably been a clue. <laughs> I was right. But as the snare <laughs> trap closed around your ankle and pulled you up into the tree, you definitely got the gist. That's what you get for even thinking about taking away my my, my love points that I have for mom. I know what you were thinking <laughs> the moment that option was mentioned. At least an evening of uh, spent hanging upside down from a tree taught you not to trust fairies, so personal growth. Yay. <laughs> One knowledge. <laughs> One knowledge? <laughs> oh. Fail. Uh, well, it's that two, sucks. two stats up, two stats down. And there's another Dark there's Young. A, there's an ebb and fucking flow in this game. Jeez, everybody except me got a Dark Young and a lost, good, lost everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Not it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hope this doesn't it's ironically swing the other way over the next, you know, two thirds of the game that still has to happen. <laughs> Cycle three. Oh, it's, the moon is advancing. Oh, it's me. Yep. It's me, I. Uh-oh. You get to find out. There's also some shit. You get to find out for the first time what happens when you go somewhere with a dark one. I could, or I can continue to just shulk that responsibility and just avoid them. <laughs> you, no, it, it, it comes... Or I, I could just not. You have yeah. a dark one. Wait, I, that's no, actually I worth... it's at that location. Oh, that is worth... Oh, oh yeah, it's at that location. Oh, it's location yeah. specific. I thought it was going to follow yeah. you. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, let's just... I'll go against my better judgment, and let's just, you know, dive right into it, right? Let's go to the upper left. You're, just, Ooh, you're gonna go to the to town the, hall? To the town hall. I'm fucking... I mean, this is the first time we played this game, right? Let's yeah. just fight... A, let's just beat the frog, you know? With the maybe, encounter. Maybe he's a tender lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, blackmail. That fucking word. You get... You organize... 
compromising situations for key officials in government and aim to collect at an opportune time. Gain two influence and one riches. Operating a doomsday cult is not what you would call a legitimate operation. Hence, having a judge on your side could be very beneficial. That isn't what I would call legitimate. <laughs> In Arkham, <laughs> Judge Mayweather was the law, and therefore you saw no reason why you couldn't persuade the law to see your point of view. A lonely judge like himself would surely be thankful to have a new friend spend time with and explain the virtues of the Ancient One. Alternatively, if a few of his colleagues were found missing a few body parts, he might also get the message. <laughs> uh, organize the judge a new friend. You don't want to go choppy? No, I'm sending him a hoe. I'm sending mm. him a hoe. Isabel from Animal Crossing was definitely the friendly <laughs> type. Oh, <God>. and, <laughs> <laughs> and due to some unfortunate circumstances, had found herself deeply in your debt. Are you Nook? Oh, God. Wow. You weren't the kind of pervert who would expect her to do anything untoward, though. You just feed the judge his soup and slip in some comments about how good the cult is for the community. And oh. since dying in the near future was cert uh, certainly a possibility for the decrepit old man and also all of the world, uh, help him understand how he would gain eternal favor with the Ancient One should he help with his resurrection. Even without being real friendly, Isabel could certainly be persuasive and it wasn't long before the lovesick judge was fully committed to your cause to influence. Since she was there, Isabel also nicked a couple of legal books. <laughs> One knowledge. Oh, great, I'm reading his books. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what about the Dark Young? What? Uh, Maybe I don't it's know. next. Maybe Isabel slept with them too. Fucking whatever, I don't care. Oh, it was getting it a bit stuffy inside, and you decided to take a break from the banquet to enjoy the cool night air. That was a mistake. There's a horror out there. With the party still in full swing be uh, behind you, you take the time to admire the mansion's beautifully cultivated garden. Beautiful. Except for that one ugly tree. It almost seemed as though it was looking straight at you. Creepy. Your stomach tightened as the dark silhouette started to move, and you realize that the time has come to pay the dark young its due. Hmm. Uh, offered an acolyte. You do have got a lot of influence. Fortunately, the cult has no end of new, misguided individuals, with, and the little sycophants, which is just this game's favorite word, were never that far off. Within seconds, one of them had answered your call, only to scream and disappear headfirst into a giant maw. Lose one influence. I'm oh my a god, you horrible you're still person. Have like, you still have nine? <laughs> oh my god, god that I'm got, a terrible human that got being. so though. high. That's all. That, I'm, you're a, the I'm a pimp. You're the admiral <laughs> from a uh, captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all you do is, all you have is influence. Battle plans. Battle plans. All I do Battle is. Plans. Battle plans. <laughs> all I do is send people to either sleep with old people or just die to ancient ones. Jeez. What a you, life. You absentmindedly wondered how many acolytes entered their career as feet sticking out of the mouth of an eldritch horror, but quickly decided, who cares? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> we failed. Fail. Fail. Last one influence. I guess they call it that just because you didn't gain a dark one, though. I think just call no. it a fail if you lose you... more than you win, because there's no upside to this. Oh, yeah. It just cost you an influence, but it wasn't the real event. It was like a bonus event. Oh, keys up. I don't want to be... But it's still there. Maybe it'll go away next turn? No, oh, maybe. Or maybe not. it's there maybe forever. It's because he, maybe it's because you failed. Maybe you have yeah. to succeed to get rid maybe of it. Maybe I was supposed to sacrifice myself instead of an acolyte. That's Gross. dumb. Why would anyone That's do that? Stupid. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be the soccer mom of this clan. I'm gonna organize a big sale. <laughs> oh god. Even a pretend My church needs a real mom, big you, sale. You mean sugar uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a parasite host. <laughs> Distribute <laughs> distribution service. It's I'm Santa Claus, but for like <laughs> but for aliens. <laughs> for horrible <laughs> yerk hosts. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like yeah making a <laughs> list checking it twice gonna find out who's empty inside santa claus is going to jail <laughs> <laughs> spend your time making beautiful cakes hooray he says you're in a cult it's called a church intolerant buffoon you're in a church. How dare you? <laughs> Step over my threshold and it cost me. <laughs> Officer Bentley explained as you were sitting in his office. 
and you're holding her, his, her daughter captive against her will, the man continued. Now I'm sure this is just some misunderstanding and you could easily explain everything. He finished and you nodded an acknowledgement as you caught his drift. I'm gonna have to blow him. Well, why not kill a couple of birds with one stone, you thought. I, oh, it's me. You could pay his bribe, get him further, get him to further his investigation by questioning your colleagues and even get him to hand over the details on the mother so you can silence her once and for all. Oh, the, not my mother. That mother. Yeah. yeah. Or you could let him carry on with the investigation. It's not like the daughter will tell him anything. Hmm. I mean, you have ten riches. I do have some. You're probably money. gonna get more. I wanna, I wanna kill the mommy. Officer Bentley understood your terms and thanked you for clearing up this little misunderstanding. During the rest of the week, he called in your colleagues in inopportune times, inexplicably knowing just when to interrupt them during critical moments. All the other cultists lose one, not it. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, you crap. dick. <laughs> it's like the boo... It's the boo tile that wow. steals stars. <laughs> wow. He also had to do the details of the mother, and after a week at the church's reorientation facility, she was reunited with her daughter. Anyone influence. Unfortunately, some of the other family members who had been asking too many questions had mysteriously disappeared. In one performance. St still, we should rejoice, for isn't reuniting mothers and daughters what church life was all about? The daughter's got a parasite in her, doesn't she? You thought <laughs> as, you thought so as all three mother. Yeah. Everyone. You thought <laughs> as the three of you carried the heavy body bags and dumped them into the progeny pit. The progeny pit. What a phrase. Gain one body. I it's like a good it. it's a good oh, workout. Hey, you're no longer yeah. negative. Wow. My God. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, man. You gain you gain one naughty as well. Yeah, well, because I won. Yeah. You always you always get okay. a naughty if you succeed. But everyone lost their naughties. That everyone had one, I think. This is... Um I'm going to the sanitarium. The sanitarium? Actually, on second I think thought. that if you go, it might become the, the insanitarium. I like how your though. two options at the sanitarium are to gain or lose sanity. Yeah, I'm gonna you go to the... You just commit uh, to insanity. I, I'm gonna keep my sanity. Uh, I'm gonna go to the university instead. Badoop. On the left. There you go. Open for some... Are green. you sure you're gonna keep your sanity? I am sure I'm gonna keep my insanity. Oh, your insanity. Right, right, right. I'm gonna go on another expedition, because that oh. worked out well last time. <laughs> you convinced the university factor the, 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 the university faculty to send you on an expedition. You push your body to its limits, searching for lost artifacts and forbidden knowledge. One body, one knowledge, one magic. You can't believe your luck. That fool, Dr. Dyer, had discovered the last of the Shogoths in a hidden oh city in Antarctica. Hey, you should stay there. Of course, Wait, no one believes Martha's Vineyard him. and Antarctica? <laughs> wow, what a program. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no one believes him, but at least the university is sending an archaeological expedition to the ancient city, and thanks to, and, and thanks to your knowledge of ancient civilizations, the faculty chose you to lead the expedition. I've played this video game. The video game based on Erasmus exactly that. And go to Antarctica or Martha's Vineyard? You'd know, Colonel. Mm, I don't think so. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. As you step into the frigid city, you plan how to you will capture a Shogoth. Don't. <laughs> you can use the Rod of the Elder Things, a basic magical item that even a novice in magic could use. Alternatively, you had brought along plans to build the Vacutainer 5 billion, the Ghostbusters gadget, Apparently. with some engineering know-how. You put it together and suck up the Shogoth. Hmm. I'm going to use the rod of the elder things. The yeah, elder because my magic is better than my knowledge. Yeah, it's too bad you didn't get an option between like a low level magic and a high level magic because you have some magic. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. But they give you a low level magic and then a high level engineering. <laughs> you can still see Winston floating within the gelatinous mass of the Shogoth, slowly decomposing. <laughs> Winston, no! <laughs> that's not peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
As the monstrosity now towers above you, you recoil at the sight of it, this mass of pseudopodia, gibbering mouths and nice. eyeballs. Lose one sanity. There you I'm go. going more and more insane. You quickly compose yourself and cast the spell to activate the rod of elder things. Immediately, the monster backs off and almost seems to bow before you. You have gained control of the Shogoth. Oh, shit. Nice. Gained nice. two magic and one influence and many tentacles. Like ten tentacles, at least. Tentacles. Now, hmm. it is only the simple matter of keeping it a secret, you think, as you order the Shogoth to track down your remaining colleagues. Oh, God. <laughs> um, oh, no. Those are, that's a lot of points. <laughs> There's a I plethora of points. going insane. With, hey, with savings. <laughs> I am going to go is... to the sanitarium. Okay. You're going to regain your sanity? Or are you going to lose That's a check phase. in? Oh. Oh, Doctor. boy. You have seen too much and feel your fragile hold on a reality slipping. Some time spent in the asylum has given you more insight into the human mind and helped you achieve some inner peace. In one knowledge and two sanity. You're, You're going to be able one. to catch cannibals now. You've been giving this whole possibility of getting sacrificed thing a lot of thought and had come to the conclusion that yeah <laughs> no <laughs> you've been studying the human mind and became convinced that you can do you can better your odds of not dying on a stone altar by cleverly combining science and magic having already mastered james braid's notes on hypnotism you plan to enhance his techniques with a spell from the liber animo is james braid like an actual Person? What? Yeah, Doctor Time Travel. He can go back in time and solve all of his problems. He's a and surgeon. That, yeah. Uh. Of time. <laughs> though this, <laughs> though this process, uh, through this process, you could con conceivably plant a suggestion into the minds of your fellow cultists, coercing them to maybe vote for someone else when the time comes. You're gonna inception people. Okay, so hypnotism wasn't an exact science. You've also been experimenting with psionics and feel fairly sure that you could use your mind to implant a tick in a fellow cultist which would cause them to periodically blurt out the mating call of the Dark Young. <laughs> Should be hilarious. Which, if memory <laughs> serves, the Dark Young sound like goats. I'm gonna go for the second option. Alright. A random cultist. You had cleared out a cell in Arkham Sanitarium just for this purpose. Sitting down in the padded room, you allow the silence to scream into your mind. That's what the silence well, that's do. Oh, that's counterintuitive. Silence was deafening. <laughs> and that was when your well, extreme yeah. claustrophobia and severe sedate phobia kicked in. Is it your fear of meditation? <laughs> oh, Going no. into a full-blown panic attack, you charge at the door, which you, in your mad scramble, accidentally slam shut. Screaming Fierce. at the top of your lungs, you claw at the padding, tearing at your tearing out your nails in the process and bursting a vein in your cerebral cortex. Lose one performance mm. to one knowledge. Sedate phobia is a fear of silence. Oh. Oh yeah. With a strength born of fear, you finally tear off the padding and force open the door. In one body. So Yay. that went well. You no. hooked out <laughs> and didn't accomplish anything. And, you and, failed. There's, and there's another oh, there's one of these guys. Uh, dark young there now. Uh, We're all gonna die. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Some of you are back to one. Some Just of you are not. not it, at least. Some of you. No, no, we're back to zero. Not the back only, to one. Only I'm, you're I back to one. zero. I lost zero. one. Gained one. Yeah, the only person oh, yeah. at zero is Colonel. Oh dear. <laughs> Some of us are excellent bakers. Cycle and four. That's all I do. <laughs> Cycle four. Should we check the actual goal, which we still haven't done? I think we should keep uh, keep going and without, we just uh, be blindsided by our characters not being. Strong I mean, that's enough? how it was in Yogg, so might as well, right? I really feel like they could have fit this on one screen without this probably yeah. scrabbling around that they did. It is weird. Uh, oh, it's bird. Um, oh, bird. I feel like I got a lot of influence. I can gain influence and money if I go to uh, Madam uh, Ho House on the bottom right. Madam Fufus. Madam yes. Fufus. So that's you want to do gambling? Yeah. 
You spend your time gambling and feeding the debaucherous habits of some of the more weak-willed patrons. The fools quickly find themselves in your debt. You won zero God riches. Oh, Why did I even wow. come here? But gained one influence. Hey, you I... got your one influence back what? from feeding bear cultists <laughs> to what, the dark What debt precisely? <laughs> yeah, I'm the abstract notion of debt, apparently. <laughs> mm. I guess it's influence debt, yeah. This week's costume party at Madame Fufu has held a particular treat. A goat spawn. The epitome of Mother's Favor, these gangly creatures, while once human, were now immortal creatures with the knowledge and magic of several lifetimes. True, being turned into a goat thing, being a goat being, seriously hampered your social life, but costume parties and events where, where copious amounts of alcohol were served usually meant fewer prying questions. Usually. Since you weren't fooled by the Goat Spawn's super realistic costume, you could use the time to gain the benefit of his arcane knowledge. You must have learned something that you could use to help loosen his tongue. Failing that, you could always try turning up the charm. Who knows what you might learn? What's the... Get some of that Goat Spawn. <laughs> what, uh, over influence, what are the, uh, keywords again? Charisma, persuasion, indoctrination, um, and followers. You're very popular on on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Wow. I guess yeah. probably have a friendly chat. Turning up the old charm, you plopped down next to the goat spawn and started up an hours long conversation. You learn that the goat spawn was called Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paulo Juan Nepomuenzo Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso the Fourth. I think that's wow. his full name, right? Or is uh, that Dali? I hope I'm there's none that left. That is mostly one take. <laughs> Born in Madrid in 1613, he had, uh, people say I have dyslexia. <laughs> mm -hmm. He had served the mother from a very young age and had turned into a goat spawn in roughly the middle of that century. To your surprise, he had since fathered many children. Apparently his great, great, me. great, great grandson was quite the painter. Ah, there it is. He had taught him everything he knows and even offered you a couple of painting tips. Gain one performance. As dawn started to approach, though, Pablo started crying. Turns out Pablo was less than thrilled with his gift of eternal life. Being hunted on sight, cursed and thrown with water of the holy variety, which according to Pablo was often quite yellow and decidedly unholy, had taken its toll on the poor man. Pablo recounted how, after the first century, he had already attempted suicide 87 times, but being immortal oh. meant climbing back up that cliff or finally cutting yourself down when you had to go pee. <laughs> that's so fucking morbid. Wow. Yeah, that's Try awful. That is trying awful. To, trying to hang yourself, then being like, I... So that's not working. I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> you took pity on Pablo and invited him out for an early breakfast where you helped him see the brighter side of life. Game 2 Sanity. Oh, shit. This is so wholesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can see that after your this is this is it's, it's distressing because it's, like you, more it's money, you and all of the events you've had are so distressing. That's you're like why are, talking. Yeah, not to mention so the fact that you're talking today. to this eldritch yeah. being that's been alive for four hundred years. Like, I, just I mean, as far mood. as eldritch beings go, a goat dude is pretty chill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can see that after your encouragement, Pablo had a new light in his eyes. You're a good kid, Pablo said as he gave you a tear-filled hug goodbye. Remind me to return the favor, he said as he walked off into the sunrise. Gain Pablo. Gain Pablo. <laughs> you have Pablo, a special escape hey. option for the thousand young cult. If, if unused, he gives plus one body at the end of the game. <laughs> well, gained, that's lovely. You gain that? Pablo. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I finally have a friend. Oh, one more <laughs> thing. Take it from me and never wear orange to a party. Giving a final wink, he was gone. That's G awesome! Gained Pablo. I gained a Pablo. 
<laughs> That's hard to match. All right. God, there's so many of them. There's so yeah, many of we... them, and I'm afraid of them because I don't know what it takes to not be defeated by one. Yeah. Concerning. Well. <laughs> even a pretend <laughs> church a needs sale. a real big sale. You spend your time making beautiful cakes. Only initiates of the fourth circle and above know the hideous secret stored in the bowels of the church. In a moist chamber, fungoid creatures are fed the bodies of those who ask too many questions. Jesus. <laughs> in return, they release microscopic spores used in the church's meditation sessions for its wonderful mind-altering effects. Unfortunately, their green, luminous excrement is extremely poisonous. You've been tasked with dumping the hazardous waste. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this, am I going to get it's my like first fail as a result? I'm going to try to sell it for profit. You managed to call in a few favors, and before you know it, your business partners have created a full line of neon green products. There's a shampoo that turns your hair luminescent green for the fashionable lady who wishes to stand out at night from hundreds of meters. Uh, a toothpaste <laughs> that makes your teeth grow, glow, grow, grow. Really grow. grow. It, it is grow. I thought I was going to be, I thought yeah. I was wrong and misread it as glow <laughs> no? because of the glowing, but no, it's a, wow, going to have to file your teeth. That posh, fangy look. File and it's going to be too posh. Feet. In a range of rat poisons, which does not kill rats, but allows you to have an intelligent conversation with them. <laughs> <laughs> Do I gain Ow. rats? <laughs> oh no, you make a decent profit. Just money. So much money. What do I do with money? Ah, you <laughs> lucky. I don't know where to spend money though. There's not like a go-to place where money goes. There's a magic shop. Oh yeah. Yeah. And every time you spend money, you get more money. <laughs> I should really start spending money. <laughs> Running out of time. Okay. Um. I would like to go to the witch's hut. With, with the, the Thagon boy? With the Thagon it's boy. It's not very. Oh, wait, yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah, they're, they're a little hard to yeah. see because everything's black and white, except for the parts that aren't. Yeah. Hunt monsters. Hunt monsters. That's uh, funny because of the situation over there. Armed with the knowledge of from dusty tomes and ancient weaponry, you track down and fight mythical creatures, preparing their organs for the ritual. One knowledge, two body. If there was one thing hunting has taught you, it was to mask your scent. When hunting the hounds of, Tina of Tindalos, you helped to cover yourself in berry urine and yak vomit. Ugh, it got worse. Mm. <laughs> if you wanted to catch a Shogoth, you'd, again, with the Shogoths, you would cover yourself in a giant albino penguin feathers. Or just use the rod of elder things. Yeah, if you want, or the other Shogoth. <laughs> or the other Shogoth, yeah. If you wanted to hunt unicorns, you didn't, because unicorns aren't real stupid. What, where, whose well, meat was that? they're dead now, because somebody hunted two it's tons regular of horse meat. So the meat was just a con, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. made you think, though, maybe there was a scent that you could that could mask you from the dark young, or even send them packing. Topical. Spending some time reading Gordon's wonderful World of Monsters, you uh, led you to just the page you were looking for. The depths, catfish. Seems the Dark Yun have an extreme distaste for the oil from these pungent creatures, and if you coat yourself in it, you should be able to keep them away till the ritual. To catch one, though, requires a technical a technique called loonling, where you wade your mind into the depths, and then when the catfish. Uh, swallow your mm -hmm. essence, you'd pull it back into your reality. You gotta fish with your brain. Which, oh, man. I, I mean, don't know if, San, if insanity helps or hurts. Brain. Yeah, your know. brain has been through times. <laughs> Actually, this gave you another idea. How about a plain old fishing contest? <laughs> you could challenge your fellow cultists to see who could catch the most creatures from the depths and prove that they are, and prove that they are less worthy of mother's affection. You must have a few magical lures lying around here somewhere. I'm gonna hold a fishing contest. <laughs> Sacrifice the cultists. But you could have gotten so much more insanity. As the day of the fishing contest arrived, the cultists excitedly piled into the clearing in front of the witch's hut. Being the gracious host, you had set up camping chairs and had created a portal into the depths, with sufficient wars to deter any unwelcome depths spawn. By the time you arrived to take up your spot, 
The others had already started to cast their lines into the portal, and one had already caught a little 12-inch Urquat parasite. Amateurs, you thought, as you, you took out your ornate oak tackle box. The box was carved from the fabled white Himalayan oak and engraved with more magical runes than most grimoires. To the amazement of all, you opened it to reveal your lures. There were McGintley power worms made from fresh cave troll tongue, a rooster-tailed depths minnow that you had made this morning from real Carcosan pigeon plumage, and the piece, piece de resistance, a Swedish hex jig made from a, a hanged man's toenail and a ruined whalebone oh, ho uh, hook. You snuck that toenail elaborate. out before they had a chance to use the restroom. <laughs> oh, I misread that as a hanged man's hangnail, and I was like, oh, oh that's awful. That's just weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Toenail is slightly better, though, you have to admit. Is it? It's way yeah. more horrifying to take out. Uh, no, hangnails suck, dude. Yeah, but I hangnails have... just exist. Pulling out a yeah. nail, pulling a nail, a nail off of a person's way more horrifying. I can say, f with experience, that's not pleasant. While the All others right, were mm, reeling fine. in tiny I'm... depth scuttlers, you were pulling on void sharks and Mulv Mulvudian <laughs> ox whales. <laughs> Heck, you nearly tore your biceps reeling in a fifty-foot depth crusher. Ain't too body. Wait, it was a great day. Not only did you handily win the contest, but you had to admit, you all had a blast. Gain one not it, and one sanity. Everyone else loses one not it. Hey. No, it's on <laughs> you, I don't have not it's. Okay, time uh, you, to see you what can happens have, I think you can have negative not it's. Or the dark game. Oh, dang it. Because you can have negative everything else. I worked yeah, hard for my not it's. One night, stalking through the dark forest, you nearly slipped as you stepped in an unidentified liquid. Bracing yourself against a nearby tree, you try to inspect the bottom of your boot. That was when the tree licked you. Always trees, <laughs> apparently. Normally you would have been surprised, but with dark young around every corner nowadays, you knew what to expect next. I'm gonna offer up an artifact. Do you have an artifact? Because I have good magic. Find out. You quickly rifle through your pockets to find a suitable artifact. Chagrined, you toss it at the monster's feet, and without blinking, which was an incredible feat for a monster with so many eyes. The Dark Young smashed the artifact with a gigantic hoof. Lose one magic. You swear you saw it smile as you cried out at the loss. With your little toy ruined, Big Brother headed out to find some other sport. What a prick. <laughs> Just a dick all the time. There's four of I them will... now. Jeez. I will go downtown. Can I go downtown? Downtown. Things will go yeah. great when you're down. Perform the reaping again. The ancient one demands sacrifices. At night, you scour the slums for worthy victims, slaying gangsters and vigilantes, and chasing down those who run away. Two body, one performance. Gwen de Bruce. Gwen de Bruce. Okay. Uh, is that supposed to be Bruce Wayne? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Way different. <laughs> Weird. Kid was a wow. nuisance, and a mentally unstable nuisance at that. Ever since his parents died, the multi-thousandaire, wow, <laughs> nice. playboy had been it's dressing up as a bat and terrorizing your operations. Yeah, it's on the nose. Yeah. That's great. It was time to teach that crazy furry a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna nice. just set an ambush up. Yeah. Crazy see, crazy too. I, I bet you that, that must be a fan of <laughs> insanity. You get to become yeah. a furry, too. Oh, God, no, please. You tried to organize an operation to take down Gwen, but just didn't have the clout. Well, if no one's going to help, I'll just do it myself, you thought. That night, you tried to attack, attract attention by throwing bricks through shop windows and looting the stores. Gained two riches. <laughs> Unfortunately, De Bruce must have been busy with more interesting crimes. The cops, on the other hand, had no compunction about questioning you on your bag of gramophones, candy jars, and two bricks. <laughs> it was a long night of explaining. <laughs> it's soup for my family. <laughs> two bricks. Flavor. We're gonna make rock soup. <laughs> What's that from? 
<laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's from. I recognize it, but I don't know where it's from. Oh, I think that's a whole. <laughs> oh, wait, I think that's a whole story. Yeah. Maybe. The rock soup, where he's like, "Yeah, I just need a rock soup." But yeah, I just need. All I need is like an onion, and he just kept saying like a different ingredient to each person in the village, and then they all brought different things until they just had, you know, ingredients. Oh, I thought <laughs> you were asking. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, this is. I'm like, this rock soup is a thing. Uh, by dawn, you had convinced the cops that the bag was yours, and with a sore throat, you walked out of the precinct. Lose one performance, because mm. you don't have cough drops in this universe. Oh, and there's a dark young. You failed by getting too now. good and too good and not losing anything. <laughs> it's well, kind it of a failure outcome to be a failure, yeah. It could have been worse. Yeah. You didn't get Batman. Yeah, you didn't get Batman. That's the true failure. I mean, yeah, you can't. You apparently you can't get less. You really do just bottom out at zero. Mm-hmm. It's a rough time. Oh yeah. Oh, Effie's catching up. How do I stop I him? <laughs> Cycle He's not five. Catching up. Well, that's a lot of those guys. Fuck, there's one at the magic right, shop too. What if I want to spend money? There's What's so the lower left? There's like a little stack of cards, right? Yeah. What's that do? Those were uh, that those, is the those tell us the conditions the about how, what we need to do oh. in the, at the end. Rolls and and, 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 F, and Effie yeah. keeps saying he doesn't want to look at them. Okay. But it's gonna um, really be important in a couple turns when we get blindsided by what they were. It's like, oh, it was. We win by having the most I feel uh, like I have, book smarts. <laughs> Surprise. I feel like I have enough influence, so. Maybe my second highest stat, which isn't very much, admittedly, is sanity. So let's go to the Arkham Sanatorium. Okay. We're gonna just be intense, intensely sane. Yeah. Uh, check the, in. The Arkham Sanatorium. Ew. You've seen too much, and you feel your fragile hold on reality slipping. Some time spent in the asylum has given you more insight to the human mind and helped you achieve some inner peace. I really One doubt to your that. sanity. <laughs> I feel like you got more inner peace from like hanging out with a goat, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You yeah. suddenly got a Pablo. Yeah, you got a Pablo. Is he here too? Yeah. <laughs> You've hit a bunch <laughs> of mental block with your ex experiments. You've already done the whole flying monkeys thing and the giant mechanical claws strapped to flesh golems thing that was getting a bit old. So, what could you try next? Guess it was time to call Pete. Time to call Pete. Okay. Pete the peddler was just a name that things. What? That this that this being oh. that this being used. Oh, a being called Pete the peddler. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> if you're not ready for it to be a noun, you're just like, <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Take to what for? Orange monkey. <laughs> that. <laughs> you didn't know this, or maybe even her real name, and. Oh, uh, you, know, you didn't know his, or maybe even her, real name, and the whole facade of a disheveled old man probably hid something more dark and dangerous than you could ever imagine. Be that as it may, Pete collected and <laughs> sold various junk from different galaxies, dimensions, and points in time as you desperately needed a new toy to experiment on. Shortly after arranging the meeting, a small portal opened in your laboratory, and Pete motioned for you to come inside. The interior of Pete's little pocket dimension looked like something had dumped an entire scrapyard into a tiny room and then gone about labeling, stacking, and hanging it from the ceiling. It kind of reminded you of Mr. Wong's pawn shop, but with more nuclear Who super weapons line? and caged Rotarian hell? peacocks. <laughs> what? I, oh, yeah, Mr. Wong's pawn shop. That's a cultural reference we all get. I don't, yeah, I don't uh, know. Is it? Is it from no. Gremlins? I have no clue. Oh, let me look. That's <laughs> like, this is a thing we all know. I have no idea. Wait, where is it from again? I, don't, I, I asked if it's from Gremlins. I don't know. I can't search I anything because I'm hosting everything and I don't want to click I'll look, stuff. I'll look it up. All it's giving me is Chinese food restaurants. <laughs> did you ask, anyway, did you include yeah, pawn shop in the search? I did. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be like a Weird. real thing. But with or... more nuclear super weapons and caged Rotarian peacocks. One item particularly piqued your interest. It was obviously of Earthling design and looked a lot like the Fernsprech kiosk you had seen in Berlin. 
but this telephone box seemed more high tech and was painted blue. Oh, oh. of course. References. Mm -hmm. Interesting, you said. Where'd you get that from? No, uh, who? Pete replied. Get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, who did you get from it? You asked, confused. Yes, get it, said Pete, not sure what you didn't understand. <laughs> Deciding that something must have gotten lost in translation, you turned your attention to a two-foot leathery egg. First leathery there, I thought egg? I was about to say a two-foot... Uh, blue-footed burby... Uh, not blue-footed... Progeny! I've always a wanted Progeny! One. I love that band. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> trying not to sound too eager, you ask Pete how much he wanted for the egg. That one? He stared off into the distance. Five Lorcan crystals, he finally exclaimed. You're crazy! Yeah, I know what that means, totally. Five, you ask incredulously. I'll give you two. Okay, okay, three. Final offer. Pete spat into his hand and held it out to you. Apparently three uh... Lorcan crystals is one riches. <laughs> Fair. Mm, I think I could strong arm this dude. No, two. You're gonna try to talk him down offer. from one riches? <laughs> yes. I got ten influence. Yeah, I guess so. Pete just stared at you and made some clicking sounds that you were sure no human should be able to make. No deal. Pete waved Aww. his arms into the air. You wasting Pete's time, the old man screamed. Now trade, then leave, he carried on. You were a bit confused. But I have nothing to trade. Your soul. <laughs> Always something to trade. Pete no! smiled darkly at you. Pete didn't even move. But as he just kept staring at you, you felt a stinging sensation in your side. And then a kidney-shaped piece of flesh materialized <laughs> oh in a canister beside him. <laughs> oh, wow. It, it looked a lot like a kidney. <laughs> You stared in horror at your missing organ slowly floating in the murky liquid of the canister. It was one sanity in one body. Here. Pete pressed a jewel-covered rod into your hand. Gain one magic. Oh, Good trade. Now get out, he said, shooing you out of the portal. <laughs> you didn't consent. Really that was a good trade. <laughs> you desperately hoped that was a good trade. You didn't consent That's to good. either part of the trade. You didn't even know what you were getting. <laughs> yep. You and piss off fail. Pete and you get a randomized trade, I guess. That was... yeah. Well... That wasn't a very good turn. I mean... Good news no. is that your kidney is going to grow to 80% the uh, yeah. efficiency of the other one. He's not unreasonable. Mm. I mean, he didn't take your eyes. Yeah. Arkham Sanitarium was designed to keep people from getting out. Even though that was the case, it was also pretty hard to get in. So imagine your surprise while working on your... Right, you're in the sanitarium this whole time. Mm -hmm. What a weird thing to happen there. So imagine your surprise while working on your latest experiment, four floors underground, locked behind a 13-inch steel door when you heard a guttural growl emanating from behind you. You sigh as you turn to face the dark young. What? There was a dark young here? You didn't pay yeah, attention. I, I failed. Fool. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> Take a good long look. Just destroy your sanity. Stare probably. Would offering up an artifact mean I'd sacrifice my Pablo because I would you die probably for saw, him? Uh, sacrifice I would magic die like I for him. No, 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 no. We're doing. Take a good long look. Really? I okay. don't want to sacrifice my Pablo. I, mean, I have no idea if that'll happen or not. I don't know either, but I can't yeah. take that risk. What did what did uh, Effie lose? Effie lost. I lost a magic when I offered magic. up an artifact. Yeah. Well, get up in there. You stare at the eldritch monstrosity standing in front of you. It looked like a giant black tree, so they just look like trees, I guess, with tentacles yeah. instead of branches. I thought it was just a coincidence that they're disguised as trees twice. Lose one sanity. There goes half your progress. Why did I fucking even come here? Yeah. I gained nothing. It was covered in salivate, salivating mouths and eyeballs, with green slime dripping down its legs like vile sap. Ew. It was one sand. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> he said long look. As, yeah. the, as the horror became too much for you, you slumped down next to its great hoofed legs, the putrid slime drenching your clothes as you lay on the floor screaming in madness. Feeling slightly uncomfortable, the dark young decides to leave. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just scream like a baby until he runs away. He's like, I don't. I'm gonna go. And it's another this. one. I like the tentacled thumbs down. <laughs> really silly. Yeah, I guess I'll try to spell, spend money or something. I assume it's. You're tending the shop with the uh, magic shop. Is it. Is he. Yeah, it's man, man the shop. shop and cast. How do you spend money in this game? The witch's uh, hut? Events, presumably. Fuck, it's just random? Like you just encounter things? I guess. Elf yeah, tomes. sounds about right. Or it's a thing for later in the you game for when you need to have the money. Indoctrinate. A heist. Because that's necessary at this point. What do I do with all of my money? Mm -hmm. Maybe huh. there's a thing for it in uh, virtual. Uh -huh. No, most likely it's gonna be he's gonna need a certain amount of money for the end game. Well, I'm loaded. Putting on your best fake smile, you convince the hapless to join your cause. Gain one performance and two influence. Bleary-eyed, you look down at your watch. It was already early in the morning, and you had been up all night sorting the church's taxes. I can't wait till tomorrow, you think, as you gather your things and prepare to head home. As you are locking up the church, a hand suddenly covers your mouth, and you are assailed by an ether-like odor that left a slightly sweet taste in your mouth. Chloroform, you thought, as you black out. Second time, at least, <laughs> this has happened. Not to me, though, because I'm a, normally a, a pleasant little baker. Now, you had done this enough to, uh, to enough people to know that. One, when you woke up, you had probably been knocked out for hours. And two, waking up in the boot of a car was never a good thing. Mm -hmm. As your bumpy journey came to a close, three masked figures opened the boot and dragged you off to what looked like a stone tower somewhere in the forest. The Tour de Dames. I don't know. This is where the cult kept their prisoners and where people were sent for reconditioning. Oh no, I'm gonna be this, but I'm the one that sent people for reconditioning. Turns out some of your colleagues mm. were less than impressed with the favor you had been gaining and decided that you uh, decided to have you locked up far away from the ritual. Oh, well, it's a good way to not get sacrificed, I guess, but not very helpful for the ritual. So I'm getting you punished for having this. <laughs> you know what the bad thing is, though? Oh. Mm. Didn't you drink the Kool Aid earlier? You know, the infected ones? No, uh, no I, mean, I distributed it through oh, no, the town. You, you no, he has Yeah, this yeah. town's gonna really blow up in a few years. <laughs> since Mother had been clear, uh, had some clear rules about killing Chosen before the ritual, and since this tower actually received quite a few visits from other cultists, they had opted to cover your face in an iron mask so no one could recognize you. In the dark cellar of the Tour de Dames, uh, surrounded by all kinds of medieval persuasion devices, your colleagues are preparing to hide your face for all eternity. Now would probably be a good time to act, and prove your worth to Mother. Hmm. I'm not good at either of these mm. things, am I? <laughs> nope. Fighting my way out, oh. I'm not good at fighting. Wait, so. isn't Persuasion- uh, hang on, real quick, check the pink one. Dexterity is performance. Escaping your bones is like I, a Houdini performance thing. Yeah, so I'm Houdini. probably more likely yeah, to be able to escape. Yeah, that's probably best bet. I definitely can't fight. And I don't want to go- I want to go through this whole game without ever not succeeding. <laughs> Alone in the dark room, you awaited the return of your colleagues. Sitting in an anti-relaxation chair, bound, gagged, and shackled, this actually reminded you of a date you had last week. Good times, nice. you thought of as you effortlessly slipped the bonds. These amateurs obviously have no skill, you thought, as you removed a white-hot branding iron from the tiny forge in the corner and took up a position behind the door. As the lock of the door clicked open, you spun into action. Aiming a blow at the first cultist's head, you were rewarded with a scream and a smell of burnt flesh. The cultist ran out of the room, screaming in pain. Quick to react, the other two drew long, serrated knives and swung wildly at you. Using your agility to your advantage, you found that you could actually be quite effective in combat if you turned their momentum against them into body. With a war cry, I feel like I didn't pick fight at my way out, and I'm fighting my way at it anyway. Uh, mm. With a war cry, the one charged in for an overhead strike. 
but you just dropped into a perfect split, allowing the dagger to pass harmlessly overhead. That's a little too far on, on gymnastics. As the man lost his balance, you sprung back up and allowed his momentum to take him over your shoulder and into the forge. Meat pies. Uh, spinning, you, uh, spinning, you grabbed the arm of the other and as he lunged for your back and pulled him off balance. The man's life ended in a gurgling scream as he pierced himself on a wall spike that exists, apparently. Ooh. What the hell is happening right now? I'm very capable at combat with my agility apparently. skills. I turned splits into an offensive action. <laughs> Walking over the cultist impaled against the wall, you removed the mask. Matthews. That would mean the one charring in the forge was probably Hendrix, as the two acolytes were practically inseparable. And that meant you had a pretty good idea who number three was, and that was going to cost them. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> random happened? other cultists gain random other cultist gains brand, and you gain vengeance. Oh, oh. interesting. So, so one, wait, of, one of us one of you has, brand? has the has a brand on your face now. And I just killed your two friends, apparently. Apparently. Oh, okay. Vengeance. You That's will have fine. your revenge Pablo, against the cultists who tried to imprison you. Gain five extra, not it, if you vote for the branded character. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, no. That's a lot of vote power. That's a lot of vote power. Yeah. Ah, sibling rivalry. What mother wouldn't be proud? Gain two more, not it. Oh, my <laughs> God. God. There's 13 total if he votes for her. <laughs> what is that? Wow. Somebody's branded. When will, when will we no, find out? No, my luck, it's me. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when the uh, summary comes through. <laughs> At this rate, I'm gonna have all of the vote power. What do I do with my money? The f How do I spend you it? it? Why isn't there a shop that where you can spend things? This is a shop that doesn't do that. Okay. Uh, I am going to go to the university. Nerd. To go on an expedition. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> You convince the university faculty to send you on an expedition. You push your body to its limits, searching for lost artifacts and forbidden knowledge. In one body, knowledge and magic. You thank the dark gods for this little tidbit. Tidbit? Tidbit. 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 I this, see. This, this, this was tidbit. I thought it was tidbit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. You're tidbit. correct. The game is not. The game is making it horny. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Just trying to eat the bird. I'm just trying to complete the joke what? somewhere in there. It's like like a Fitbit, but for boobs somehow. Like there's a there's a there's a direction you could go in. I don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> a nobody. Uh, you still went there. Yeah. A nobody assistant professor named Will Marth. That's unfortunate. Will uh, from, Marth <laughs> from the English literature department had come to ask your advice about some letters he had received. He showed you the letters from a Vermont farmer named Ackley, Ackley, and his Probably claims Ackley. about alien creatures living near the farm. You tried to act cool as you realized the farmer had stumbled on your Amigo mining operation, and that, and you started to break out in a cold sweat as you scanned over a few of the lines. I have certain evidence that monstrous things do indeed live in the woods, and thing the things come from another planet. Up to that point, you could have persuaded Will Marth that Ackley was a kook, but it was the next sentence which stopped your heart cold. I think they mean to get rid of me because of what I've discovered. And there is a great black stone with unknown hieroglyphs, ha half worn away, which I found in the woods on Round Hill. The Gerchief Stone. The farmer had stolen the Gerchief Stone and he's intending to send it to Will Marth by train today. You must get it back. Send Amigo. Did I know what Amigo I is? Have good I don't know. You want to Google what Amigo is? It's a, a type is. of um, Cthulhu style creature. It's not oh, okay. it's real. The only yeah, yeah, the every, was, uh... every weird name is a, another Lovecraft creature yeah. like Chogoth. Oh. Oh. Yeah, boy. these guys are. The, yeah. That is. Uh, uh, these are the famous <laughs> ones that are made up for him. For, uh, the only amigo I know is uh, is friends, which I have three of right here with me. Yay! But we uh, don't have dashes in the middle. 
And so you're, so you're going to send the Amigo? I just posted in the Discord a picture of Amigo. <laughs> yeah. Does it like... They're the Cthulhu creatures, basically. Does it camouflage or anything? Or does it just like... <laughs> just go out in public? And just... I, just deal oh. with it if it gets seen? But yeah, I'm going to send Amigo to intercept the package. What could go wrong? A lot of things, I'm sure. You tried to contact the Amigo over the phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not how it's... Okay. The first few times you called, you only got the answering their answering machine, the Amigo's answering machine. While leaving your 12th message, you suddenly noticed a droning snickering in the background. You stopped mid-sentence. Uh... Hmm? Uh, I wonder what that means. Oh, uh, are you telling me you fungoid bastards have been lying to me this whole time? I should have known there was no such thing as an answering machine. What? Oh. What, what level of technological joke? advancement do these people even have? I yeah. Oh. Did they make? Did they it, do a fourth wall breaking answering machine joke? But they're but they haven't invented them yet. Oh, maybe. Right. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. They just. <laughs> they, <laughs> They did a convincing impression of a of an answering machine that also functioned a as a tutorial for the concept of an answering machine. Yeah. Furious, you slammed the phone down so hard that you broke your desk in two and proceeded to wreck your entire office. Gain one body. Hey. It was obvious that they didn't respect you in the least. Guess there's no time left to stop Wilmarth now, you, you think, as you sat down against the wall of your wrecked office. Lose one sanity? You always find a way to lose sanity. Yep. It's an art style. <laughs> well, that didn't... That didn't work at all. No. Shit. You, you, know, you turned the phone down so hard that you broke your desk in twain. <laughs> turned down for gonna... what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what the hotel has. Oh, it's downtown. There's gotcha. No I'm going oh, there's downtown. a dark young there. Mm-hmm. There's back. Yeah, there he is in the background I'm sneaking. I'm gonna perform the reaping again. The Ancient One demands sacrifices. At night, you scour the slums for worthy victims, slaying gangsters and vigilantes and chasing down those who run away. You body one performance. Being a part of a doomsday cult has its disadvantages, you don't say. Mm -hmm. There's the constant threat of investigators, becoming the next sacrifice and mystery stew Mondays, but through all this, you still had each other's backs. Who? Not me. It's not working out for me at all. Sure, sometimes it meant stabbing someone else and sends it back, but at least you did it with a clean dagger. And sure, you didn't always see eye to eye, or eye to third eye to third eye. In in some cases, what? you could oh. always uh, you could always agree that the world should end in tentacles and teeth. So when you heard That's that someone true. had turned their back on the cult and had gone to the police, it caused bile to rise in your throat. The time. This time, it was Cedric Goodfellow. The name was a wow. real giveaway, honestly. Yeah. Shouldn't really hire people named Goodfellow into your. Co oh man, <laughs> you like Cedric? <laughs> oh dang it! <laughs> Always fun at parties. Made the best pumpkin spice lattes. Never even once tried to kill you. See, probably, the fact that he was very that was probably the giveaway. A should have been a yeah. Get, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You probably should. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have trusted Doctor Starbucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were going to sacrifice him later in the week, but still, rude. Uh, let's break into the precinct. <laughs> God, because have, of course you have nine strength and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Holy it's crap. not going too well. You thought of yourself as one of the great actors of the time. Hmm, no. Your performance as tree number three in your school play received excellent reviews. At least that's what your mom said. Deciding to use your natural gift, you dressed up as a schoolboy. Why? No cop uh, would think twice when they saw you, and you could slip into the precinct completely unnoticed. Putting those method acting classes to good use, you decided to skip all the way to the precinct, all while looking a giant multicolored lolly. <laughs> Not what I thought breaking in was gonna be. Lose one influence. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Negative! Mm. You, yeah. reached, you reached the police station. You were stopped by a very confused-looking officer. <laughs> oh, God. 
please, sir. I'm just here to visit my daddy. Mm. You no. said, batting your I eyelids as innocently as you could manage. Your ruse worked. <laughs> the officer asked you to wait on the bench while he fetched someone to escort you. You are a legend, Uwu. Fortunately, the uh -huh. officer returned rather quickly along with two very burly misspelled orderlies from Arkham Sanitarium. The two had not so gently requested that you stay at the asylum for a while. You're going back. You're going back. You gained one sanity, though. But I you failed. Thought, wow. You thought you could keep your positive sanity, but here it goes. Oh, yeah, I guess you did oh, get more. Dang it. That's funny. Please, Cthulhu, Daddy. Oh, Cthulhu. It has Uwu in his name. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> HP Lovecraft is rolling in his grave right now. Oh, no one you cares. Mind. He was a horrible person. <laughs> go, yeah, go fuck himself. Sucked. The alleyways were your domain. You dared walk there for fear of the death you might bring. As a mangled body splattered onto the ground in front of you, you quickly realized that there was a new predator in town. Perched high in a building, its body wedged in the alley. The tentacles hooked around multiple fire escapes. The dark young, young glowered at you. Mother was disappointed with your progress, and Brig Brother was here to collect your apology. <laughs> uh, where uh, I'm gonna sacrifice my memories. Hopefully, not my sanity. You stare in horror at the sight you had never witnessed before. A needle-like proboscis, as thick as your thumb, folded out one of the tentacles. You're about to get Starship Troopered. Uh -huh. The segmented tube reached over your head, and with a wet squelching sound, it struck the back of your skull. Nope, more Matrix. Not uh, not so much Star Trek Troopers at this point. Or there Star was an intense Starship pressure, Troopers. and with each successive sucking sound, darkness started to close in on you. Lose one knowledge. You caught yourself just staring into nothingness and couldn't quite remember what you were doing here. Couldn't be that important then. You smiled as you went back to your business, being in a sanitarium. <laughs> Yay! Well, you want sanity. That's a success in my book. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's really strange. You got yeah. dumber, but you're happier. That's that. That's the way of the world. Yeah. That's Nobody the has. That's the tricks. No, it's still no brand. I guess it's completely no. random. Well, I don't think we. I don't think we'll know the brand until the end. Yeah. When all the reveals like happen all at once. Keith, Keith's portrait has a, a crown. <laughs> well, yeah, because he has the highest. Uh, I have not a <laughs> so <laughs> much. Cycle six. Last turn, I believe, before the actual last turn, before which is the, the ritual. Reckoning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. The reckoning. So your last chance to choose a location in this status quo of however okay, this works. Okay, this is there me. Are. This is me. You guys have polluted well, a lot. Last turn. Last <laughs> turn didn't go well for me whatsoever. Um. Oh hey. What? What's something we haven't done Branded. yet? Branded. Oh. oh shit. You of are course branded. it's me. It's okay. I... Don't, don't worry, Pablo will save you. No, I think he yeah, just gives you. I was you... gonna say, I always have Pablo. If you keep him to the end, I think he just gives you one body. It does. Yeah. Which well, you have negative you one. Use <laughs> so that's probably a good thing. I think yeah. Can... Well, the point is, I think he can save uh... you during certain events or something like that. But otherwise, he just probably, gives you a stat yeah. boost at the end of the game. I just kind of want to try something that we haven't done yet. Like, what have we not done? I think that we haven't done the thing on the right. Pop knob. With the left option. Like, I don't yeah. think we've done downtown, but... Plan a heist. Plan a heist. We haven't done plan like, a heist. We haven't done hobnobbing. Would you yeah, like to plan well, a heist? Yeah, is going to result in me encountering a dark one. Or dark thing. There's one what here, too. Called? Oh. Yeah. Damn There's it, they're everywhere. Gun. Pretty much yeah, everywhere. No, yeah, you guys have really fucked this place the up. The only place that there really isn't <laughs> one is Madame Fufu's and the church. And that's it. Madame Fufu. Let's see if we can get one on every yeah, single thing. Church. Fuck what? it. What? Uh... <laughs> Let's do uh, Madame Foo Foo's. And somebody Madame else Foo do the church Foo. and they fuck that up. They fail. Somebody fail that one, okay? Promise me you're going to fail it? Okay. <laughs> I know. Cool. That's not even how it works. Uh, Can't even guarantee it. Gamble. You spend your time gambling and feeding the debaucherous habits of some of the more weak willed patrons. The fools quickly find themselves in your debt. Two riches, one influence. Hey, you actually made money this time instead of no money. <laughs> <laughs> After a number of exotic drinks, you realize that you were actually an expert dancer. 
You bruise the toes of many a patron, and at one stage smash into a large brute of a man. You both careen into a table full of drinks. The yeah, man sounds like me. forcibly lifts you to your feet, and you drunkenly bemuse how someone so soaked in beer could possibly seem so heated. The man aims a large, meaty fist at your jaw. Um... I want to fail this one intentionally, so defend myself. Oh no. You die. <laughs> Not being much of a fighter, you remember an old martial arts poster you saw. <laughs> wow. A, a, That's a static, glorious. A static image. <laughs> a static image. You lift up both arms above your head, stand on the ball of your right foot, and raise your left leg to ki uh, for a kick to the face. As it's you thrust out reference. to kick, you make a loud cawing sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bird! Caw -caw. Bird's about to catch a fist. <laughs> <laughs> the force of the kick completely unbalances you and you fall flat on your back. Your attacker rolls on the floor laughing. Rawful. Ego, feeling a bit bruised, you decide to go home. That is about as well as that, as that could have gone, honestly. Yeah. You were so inept and uh, and lol random that you didn't get punched. <laughs> <laughs> lol random? That's how I got through high school without getting bullied. But you lost an influence for being embarrassing. Yeah. You've, you've shown, as they say, your whole ass. Wait. He's the next right. day, you spend the entire day practicing the pose in the mirror. <laughs> in what <one> performance? <laughs> That's good. Fake it till you make it. Why though? Oh, you did it! Yay, I failed! Yay! God, they're everywhere. All right, Keith. What, what if the you game doing? just what stupid if the game amounts just of ends? money? No, no. <laughs> There's no. There aren't obvious enough money spending options. I guess I'll. I, I haven't been able someone. to fight anybody, so I don't think we can just spend things. You organize compromising situations for key officials and government, and aim to collect it at an opportune time. To influence and more money! Too much money. While sitting in your office, you suddenly hear a raucous commotion coming from downstairs. As you rush to see what's going on, you are suddenly assailed by smoke rising from the first floor. From the shouted slogans, you immediately realize that Town Hall has been attacked by the National Anti-Prohibition League. Oh, it's during, we're during Prohibition? Another Molotov yeah, cock- that's ironic. So, yeah. <laughs> And one other Molotov <laughs> cocktail flies through your window, <laughs> instantly setting your desk on fire. <laughs> um, beat the snot out of them, or help stop the spreading flames. I don't. Is that a knowledge thing? That would probably be. Or is a, a dexterity thing? A performance or body thing, I imagine. Oh. They probably have multiple ways of doing the same thing. They they may check for yeah. Whatever I want to be. I, I want. I want, stopping, stopping, yeah, I want to fund some kind of thing that helps me with my all my money, not well, these things. Just throw the throw bills, dollar bills at the at the fire. So how do you go about this? Being the uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. Being the intellectual type, evident by your grand grandiose use of superfluous words to make you sound more photosynthesis like a dungeon master <laughs> nice. trying to tell the players what to feel as they enter a room you decide to make a contraption that will use the water and the toilets to cover the building <laughs> it takes you a couple yeah. minutes to draw up the plans but in the end you realize you don't know what you're doing <laughs> Eureka! Eureka! <laughs> you could still have the same effect if you stack stuck a st uh, stick of dynamite into the toilet Five minutes and twelve stacks of dynamite later, you press down on the plunger. The whole business goes up in smoke and billowing rubble. I think I might have lost finally, guys. Nah. Really, really thought yeah, the whole. Did. Really thought, I really thought the whole fucking blackmailing thing would use, you know, my influence or my money. <laughs> but fuck me, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you're on fire now. At least the fire's out. You think? Gain one sanity. Oh yeah, so I think that only gets even moved this whole game. And a couple of our enemies are dead, you say, trying to see the brighter side of the fire. <laughs> One influence, hey! Fail. Well. Oh wait, 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 wait. Do dark you young be gone. Moved or killed Move? the dark young. Kill the young. <laughs> Did I dark kill young. it with fire? Oh, oh that's but what the, that was. But now there's another one. Yeah, because you failed. <laughs> You blew it with dynamite. Oh, okay. I got that far without failing too. Uh, well, the two only place here? I can go oh, it's to. Gone. Without, mm, it's gone. 
The, oh, no. the town hall is completely gone. It's like in the it's yard. The you actually oh can God. lose these places. It's late okay, enough that it doesn't um, affect the game, though. What are my stats right now? 28262. I'm going to go to the witch's hut, even though I know there's a dark, uh, a dark young there. That's the good opportunity. Uh, Actually, back up real quick. Let's see what's at the university again. I'm going to delve through tomes instead. Deep in your insanity. You spend your time locked in the Orn Library, perusing dark treatises, occult manuscripts, and sanity-shattering tomes. Gain two knowledge, but lose one sanity. I'm going further insane. Witches are, well, how to put it. There's a name for these ladies, but it wasn't used in high society, outside of a kennel. <laughs> this was a fact that... <laughs> Impolite, honestly. <laughs> yeah. This was a fact that that became all too clear to you when you were tasked with translating the Sefer Al Razim before the ritual. You knew that it was originally owned by Keziah Mason, and that the ancient crone had written much of it. What you hadn't known was about known, and a fact that was conveniently left out was that Keziah had not willingly parted with the grimoire. This little titbit would be proven useful <laughs> as you materialized in her little abode hidden behind a dimensional wall in the attic of her old home as your travel spell fizzled away you were greeted by the hunched over figure of the old hag who didn't even turn around as she froze you in place fully paralyzed by her binding spell you awaited your fate it seems the old witch was in a sporting mood and as she offered you a she offered you a choice of two curses as punishment for stealing her book. Now, Mother was quite fond of the Eternal Coven, so you had best honor the old witch and choose wisely. <laughs> hmm. oh, you can always be hungry, or you can accept the curse of Sergio. <laughs> I will accept the curse of Sergio. That sounds more interesting. That night, sitting back at your apartment, you were surprised as the wind started to pick up, seemingly out of nowhere. Suddenly, a half-naked man named Sergio burst through your wall and started to play his saxophone. <laughs> that is not what I expected. Since you had neither the talent <laughs> nor the appreciation. Curse. sucks. <laughs> oh, I figured no. there was, was going to be a dude named Sergio, but I didn't know the context. I didn't expect this one, yeah, no. He must submit to this massage. <laughs> Since you had neither of the talent nor appreciation for the arts, it was needless to say that you were freaked out. Lose one sanity. Wow. Yikes. Of all ways to lose sanity, that was a really weird one. You tried throwing a punch at the intruder. Don't do that. Don't punch Sergio. He just wants to play a saxophone. Oh, Sergio. He just wants to play a shirtless a sax saxophone. Guy. This is not yeah. violence warranting. But your arm passed straight through the apparition and crunched into what was left of the wall behind him. Lose one body. Serves you right. By three in the morning, the ghostly gypsy had finally left. As Sergio reappeared night after night, you realized that the curse was real. Oh god, he keeps coming. And it wasn't long before the sound of wind blowing would reduce you to tears. Lose one sanity. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, more sanity lost. You gained three insanity. Sergio. And he failed. Sitting behind your desk, engrossed in a dusty tome, you tried desperately to block out the incessant tapping of a branch against the window. It was a windy night, and you had half a mind to get the groundskeeper to come out and chop down the damn tree. Slowly, a chill started to creep up your spine. There were no trees outside your office. Ever so slowly, you lifted your head out of the book and turned to stare at the dark young tapping on the window pane. It was time to pay up. Memories or artifact? I will sacrifice my memories. You stare in horror at the sight you had never witnessed before. Proboscis thing goes into your brain. Pressure. Knowledge. Dang. You caught yourself yeah, just staring into nothingness and couldn't remember what you're doing here. Gonna be that important mm -hmm. then. One sanity. <laughs> Again, no! Back. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm slightly less insane now. Isn't that bad, though? Don't you want insanity at this point? It seems like the goal. Hmm. I'll I go to the Church of the Starry Wisdom. Oh, I, I was wondering about the titbit, because uh, one of the things that, that Lovecraft does is use certain words misspelled consistently. 
And the only uh, one that I remember is Lantern. He always writes Lanthorn, which is really weird. So I wonder if Titbit might be a Lovecraftian thing. I'll, I doubt it. Cause I, th I think someone was saying like... it's just an English well, thing or something. Lanthorn is, yeah, it's an old British word. It, yeah. It's not misspelled. That's... It's not misspelled, okay. Nope. I know he nope. uses some, some alternative spellings anyway. Let's see, uh, can you go back so I can look at my stats a little? You're doing great, yeah. darling. I am going for the left one, the first first choice. Indoctrinate. Putting on your best fake smile, you convince the hapless to join your cause. One performance to influence. <clears throat> Mr. Erickson burst into your office and grabbed you by the throat. Damn. You brushed aside his quivering finger <laughs> inches away what? from your face as he angrily accuses you of the disappearance of his beloved wife, Molly. Of course, you are responsible for many disappearances, but the name Molly doesn't instantly ring a bell. As the man started to get increasingly violent, you vaguely remember a woman who was going to expose the church's child labor camp. Might have been Molly. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna agree to take him to Molly. You calmly explain to Mr. Erickson that you know where they took Molly and that you will help him find her. How helpful, how nice. From his menacing grimace, you quickly gather that he wasn't buying your lie. For such a distraught man, you are amazed at how much joy he gained from punching you in the face. <laughs> Lose one body. Oh. <laughs> Things are going well. After roughing you up, he storms out, threatening to expose you to the church. You realize that Mr. Erickson will go straight to the police. Rushing to your phone, you call in a favor from the chief of police, requesting that he make your little problem and the evidence go away. As you put down the phone, you mumble in irritation, realizing that you are now going to owe the chief one. Lose one riches. You definitely need to practice becoming a better liar. Gain one performance. And, there's the, and there it is. There's the final dark one. They're on every building. No, yep, not. just in time to be done. No, they're not. They're not. One, one, eight, three, zero. One's gone. They are. Because I encountered it. Oh, why'd you fucking do that? <laughs> because I didn't have a dice. Did the one that you, did the one that you dealt with die? No, it got used up. It no, they, the they, from... they've always stuck around. Yeah, they stay there. No, they, yeah. they leave after. No, we've been counting them all game long no. and they've been, that's why, that's why there's so many of them is they don't go they away. Go, they do go away. No. Only if you kill them with the dynamite in the no. pooper. No. After they get what they want, they leave. No. No, they don't. They've literally never they done there. that, Effie. That's why they're covering the entire map. Yeah. But we've seen the death. No, we haven't. They, they only... say they leave in the conversation in that the, the situation ends. We've only killed one ever, or gotten rid of one ever, which was when the, I burned down the entire building. It and might that, be related to why they, it's gone. Yeah, that was the only time we've yeah. ever seen the icon that one went away. This whole game, every time somebody's encountered one, it, it, it stayed there. <clears throat> yeah. Guess what? Who's it? Let's find out. Players I think voting. Then Keith gets to determine the outcome of this. Choose the sacrifice. Uh, Who are you voting for? Do, 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 so I guess it's I guess it's Green's turn. So yeah. You, yeah. So you get to choose who to send your one vote to. Yep. You've Why? Only got one vote. What does it matter? It's just, it, fucking. I'm voting for you. Me. Yes. How could you do such a thing? Because it literally doesn't matter. Who are you voting for, Keith? I don't know what you're talking about. God. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so who are you I'm voting not... for, Effie? I'm voting for Bird. <laughs> oh, you dick. <laughs> Just piling it on. You Effie, don't have you any have votes. No vote. I'm voting for Keith. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you have be Oh no. Uh -oh. I have it's so with a vote of 16 to 1. <laughs> you're yeah, 16 in. To one. Oh, well, uh, choose your death. Um I think so. Squatting rhino pouncing pigeon. What is this part? Pablo. That's the fighting one. The abyssal oh, wait, mirror. Wait, 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 wait. Executive oh, extraction service. Sick him. Are these Wait. We have the GTF hey. off. 
Get the way of the GTFO. <laughs> GTFO. <laughs> That's pretty second. good. The Gemini uh, what's protocol. What's a Bissell mirror? I think I see a Pablo what? symbol with the Sikkim thing, by the way. Oh. No. Oh, oh yeah, Pablo. What? Oh, well, then I have to use that one. Of Maybe. course. Sikkim. Say Sikkim. hello to my little friend. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what these cards mean, honestly. Like, oh, hell no. I think that, yeah. I think that, um, we're supposed to unlock the meta for these cards to make more sense, right? I don't, yeah, I don't. It's right. replay value. I assume value. this is how what, your part in the ritual. I'm just how you I, get uh, away from the ritual. Are there, I, I guess this one means I, fight. Yeah, yeah, train the martial arts, yeah. your body is a weapon, tone the lighting probably fast. probably body and performance. <clears throat> Why that should you have to die when a clone probably... of you will do just as well? A plan this crazy might just work. Is it an insanity choice? Insanity. Yeah. 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 Any fool can so use the mirror to enter a new dimension, but only a master sorcerer can look into the maddening possibilities of what could be and change reality itself. Nah. Requires Although magic boring is always best, things were about to get very unboring. Time to call a professional. I it's influence, that maybe? Money? With the right Could chemicals, be. anyone can seem dead. They can't kill what's already been shipped to the morgue. That one's probably knowledge. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. That's the Pablo special. And then a, besh, a dish best served at the room temperature with a uh, side of crazy and a sprinkling of dumbass. Dumas? Dumas. <laughs> Dumas. Got mm. it. Uh, sick him. Yeah, I don't... I, I, I it keep, doesn't it give you the right. things. I keep, yeah. yeah, I thought they said they were going to tell us like the stat requirements or something, you know what I mean? Like, well, that was mm. in the the little pamphlet thing that... Say a lot of my little friend. never looked at. Yeah. You were sitting behind the desk in your sanctum when a dozen armed cultists barged in to surround you. Ah, I heard you might be coming for me, you said without even looking up. You didn't have to look up to know that each and every one of them would have gone pale when Pablo suddenly crept out of the shadows. See, I told Pablo here that you wouldn't be crazy enough to come, but it seems I was wrong. Daddy. Daddy. I know. Sorry. I know you were right. Now try to now try to get too much blood on the carpet and wipe that grin off your face, you told Pablo as you went back to your business. As the screams died down, you looked up at Pablo's handiwork. My carpet, he said with a grimace as you flicked a dismembered tongue with your toe. What? What? Ew. I'd have trouble recognizing it, I feel like, without context. <clears throat> your features softened as you put a hand on Pablo's shoulder. Guess I owe you one, you said with a smile. Success! Success! You alived. <laughs> you alived so Yay. hard. That fun Wait, hang so on. Hard. Does that mean that the next person with the highest vote count is now sacrificed? I don't is think Keith? so. I, I hope think not. not. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope not. <clears throat> the funny thing is the... Uh, Think about like one of the great things about Yogg sometimes is when all the narrative things come together at the end. So the fact that the ending was all about Poplo and the brand is like, oh, this is neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is time. Oh. Oh. Okay. It is. I think you, this is your role in the ritual. Yeah, I think this is the roles. <clears throat> ah, I've been talking for two hours. The Black Moon of Ortegius. And now, a word, an uncouth rhyme, of what shall be in darkest time. Count Ebon Moons, 279, for the last will be blackest in line. The gift, with their special sight, will cry out, the time is right. What? Okay. Hmm. Oh. What does that mean? Omen? No. Grimoire. Are these tarot? Or something? No, they're not tarot. The Sefer al Razim. From grisly pages written in blood, unlock the seals of Al Sharud. Release the maddened souls within, resist their whispers, or become akin. Aw, oh, it was close. Mm hmm. Meter is so ever so important. Yeah, the yeah. meter was so close. Vestments of veg. <laughs> <laughs> now step forth, O oh, most beloved one. Through holy deal, your time has come. Clothe thyself in orange with glee, for mother has a prize for thee. 
wailing gramophone. <laughs> the headphones? Turn up for <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> The strong of will and black of heart, one who has mastered that cursed art, let resound the cries of fostered doom and through the craft herald death and gloom. The midnight ruby athame? Through the dark heart of civilization go, undermine, suppress, and overthrow. Through fortunes lost and illicit gain, by the dark blood stone, death will reign. I don't know what any of this shit means. I don't know what we're doing. That sounds very much like an influence and money thing. The master it? of ghouls. Yet all's not lost when death arrives, for a way t'was prepared by bloody knives. Trusting lambs led asunder. Now heed the call and rise from under. Fight light and gray and darkest dark. All will submit their treasured spark. I don't understand what's happening. Change of heart. Mm -hmm. This game's weird. Well, we, we didn't read. Very weird. It was it was not smart to just not read the thing the whole game because <laughs> we don't. Uh, whatever context yeah, that was true. giving, we just don't have. But as the mother rises from lightless plain, heed betrayal from a spirit torn in twain. Through strength of limb and knowledge divine, to darkness may yet be undermined. So we have to uncode. I guess we have to decode these. Probably? Strength, knowledge. That's like... Uh, wisdom, intelligence, tomes. It's actually not the same word usage, but it, I guess that's what it means. That, this is probably heart and intel... And, oh, oh wait, the whole thing's called knowledge? The whole thing's called knowledge. Okay. So I need to find one that says... Riches, money, treasure, assets, charisma, persuasion, indoctrination, fu fuck. Why are we... Mm. But does anyone think they know what this one means? <laughs> At all? Yeah, not a no. Clue. No. Maybe uh, knowledge, potentially, but probably not. Spe gifted with their special sight. Unhelpful. There's so many things tied to performance. Sacred Relic. That's pro maybe magic? This is a of veg? I think this, this is performance. You're putting on a costume. Why is this oh, so it could inc be. incomprehensible? That's true. Yeah. I don't know. Resist is it because their you're whispers? insane? Mental oh, it might be. So this no, is probably insane. a mental stability test because resist their whispers? Oop. It might be knowledge and sanity? Undermine, suppress, and overthrow. Fortunes lost, and illicit gain. This kind of sounds like it could be influence and riches, but that's a guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated that... by how vague this is, because it does. I don't know if that's the goal. The other one was the one that I thought maybe fit you best, but just from the description, not like... This is the sacrifice one that we can't do. At the roots of that mm -hmm. blood-spattered tree, lay down evil corpses of one, two, or even three. Chosen from their brethren these, or better yet, left to freeze, their flesh will sate the children dark, or beware a bite worse than its bark. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with a theme, because I've, I've questioned it long enough, and I don't know, I, I don't get it, but I'm hoping it's this one. Is there a good one? Please? All right, so now it's Effie's turn. Yeah. Your oh skills boy. are I not see. being sane and having a good heart. <laughs> that last not this... right, but he's got a good heart. I'm hmm. gonna go with the Sefer of Al Razim. The Sefer of Al Razim. You might you might be doing the opposite of resisting their whispers if you're already really insane. Maybe I don't know. Gonna go or for maybe it. you're just immunized. I'm gonna go for it. All right, now it's that's Colonel, right? It's the right? color. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Master of Ghouls. Just read it again so I can. 
Yet all's not lost when death arrives, for a way twas prepared by bloody knives. Trusting lambs led asunder, now heed the call and arise from under. Fighting light and gray and darkest dark, all will submit their treasured spark. That kind of sounds like it might be an influence. Influence body, or wait, influence magic, maybe? Hmm. I'm still gonna but go with it. it. I think trusting it's more lambs fighty. led asunder. I think that yeah. one's a fighting I one. I remember it going this way. Mm, it kind of felt like it the first time. Wasn't this but... one that sounded fighty? Strength of limb and knowledge divine, darkness may yet be undermined. Oh, this is well, this being one's a traitor, easy, though. This body and knowledge. But I yeah. think this also involves being a traitor, so it might not be a ceremony. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. I might be trying to stop it. Yeah, this might get like a special ending or something if you get yeah. over the... I'm not going to try to stop it. I'm... I'm... Let's hope that we can bring about the end of the, at least... You're doing Master of Ghouls? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Pulling your strings. The Reckoning. And so it begins. Oh One is left to wonder what you thought was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> Did you think the day of the ritual would arrive and everyone... I think it didn't go very well. <laughs> no. Did you think the day of the ritual would arrive and everyone would just say, Hey, we know your mental stability is a bit iffy, so how about you come up... How about you give up... We give you a pass and a reading from the creepy, skin-covered book. Clearly that wasn't going to happen. So when your time came to read from the book, you noped right out of there. Major <laughs> fail. Oh, God. Oh, my yeah, God. Major <laughs> fail. Yeah, I was going to say, yep. it really looks like a sanity check, and you're incredibly yep. insane. That was a sanity check. Standing in front of the Tree of Death, you caressed the fist-sized black ruby affixed to the back of your, of your athame, a word that exists. This baby had not come, been easy to come by. You had used all yep. your political influence and riches, I guess I picked the right one, <laughs> to fund a mining operation in Mozambique, right under the noses of the Portuguese government. Except for a few officials who had either disappeared or agreed to remain silent, no one in the Portuguese government had even known about the wealth of rubies right under their own colony. After months of digging, your work crews had finally found the Midnight Ruby, a jewel so black it exuded darkness around it. Now, as the ritual begins, you grope around the dark bubble caused by the ruby, trying to feel your way to the tree. Finally, after a few awkward minutes of stumbling and flailing your hand in front of you, you feel the rough bark of the tree on your palm. Exultantly, you start to carve the dreaded runes into the flesh of the tree. Soon the portal will open. Epic success! Epic success! Nice. This is, these are significant swings of terminology and yeah, no intensity. Kidding. Admittedly, the, the Portuguese didn't see it coming. <laughs> the darkness gem helps. Yeah. The ground beneath the ritual site was littered with the corpses of those you had lured here to die. The plan had been quite simple. At the first sign of danger, you would raise the corpses and unleash them on your enemies. The luring and murdering bit had gone great, but every gullible fool that followed you into the forest... Uh, but with every gullible fool that followed you into the forest only to die in some creative way, a nagging sensation started to grow within you. Assuming that it must be your conscience, you just buried the feeling along with your victims. The night before the ritual, however, you sat bolt upright in bed as you identified the gnawing sensation. You didn't know necromancy. <laughs> I mean, you were really great at the making dead part, but you actually had no clue how to reanimate a corpse. Heck, the last spell you had tried involved reanimating a broom to clean up the sanctum, and that nearly ended in a, in a flooded basement. Hey, that sounds familiar. Well, <laughs> what are the odds anyone would be stupid enough to attack the ritual anyway? You smiled and went back to sleep. Major fail. Oof. <laughs> wow. Major fails and one epic success. I think we failed. You don't, I don't know necromancy. I can't fucking read. <laughs> As the ritual yep. concludes, the anticipation becomes palpable. I, anticipation. I think that people <laughs> can see that this isn't going to go very well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Suddenly, a cultist next to you drops forward onto his face. Before the stunned man could even react, he is pulled screaming into the darkness. All around you, cultists are pounced by dark horrors and pulled screaming beyond your vision. The dark young... An icy dread fills your chest. You didn't bring a sacrifice. Oops. With no one prepared to stop them, <laughs> the few who tried could do little damage 
and even if a dark young miraculously fell, another took its place. You're co you cover your ears, huddling in a corner, trying to drown out the cacophony of screams as you wait for the inevitable. Epic we did fail. worse than bad, but I mean, you're we didn't have you, a sacrifice. Yeah, you, you survived because you, you weren't the sacrifice. Wow. Defeat? Defeat? Yes. Question Defeat, mark? Defeat, period, exclamation point. <laughs> Silence Defeat. descended upon the ritual, and even the dark young stopped to stare at the blood-soaked tree. As the minutes passed, the wind blew wistfully through the trees, and makeshift bone chimes rattled in harmony <sighs> to mock your failure. Slowly, one by one, mournful howls emanated from the dark young as they lamented another failure and another aeon, aeon of waiting. You almost felt sorry for the brutes, but then suddenly their howls turned to maddened roars of rage and they turned, their, turned on your assembled group. Each dark young grabbed as many cultists as it could catch with its whipping limbs and then returned to the depths with them, their writhing and screaming victims in tow. Mother was not the forgiving type, and this disappointed mother was about to give some of her children a whoop ass. <laughs> what a <laughs> fucking phrase to end on. <laughs> In the end, you sat huddled and screaming under a rotted trunk for what felt like hours. There was no sacrifice, and the dark young were not pleased. The screams of the others, as they were mutilated by the monsters, tore at your mind. In the cruelest joke ever, the dark young had left you there, hands covering your ears and screaming till your throat bled. The sight of that massacre had scarred you more than any of the horrifying things you had witnessed as a cultist. Now sitting in your little room in Arkham Asylum, you sway back and forth, not speaking of that day. In fact, after that day, you never spoke again. At all. As of the throat bleeding. Yeah, it's really bad for your, uh, your Let's Play channel. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rip. It says rip. Did you see the... Did you see did it? it? Oh. Yeah. On top of my, uh... Hey! My this is a good you. ending. <laughs> Had a good ending. For the rest of your life, Pablo would be there to have your back. Several times you thought that that would be it. This is the day that would be your last. But then Pablo would appear and you knew that it would not be today. Aw. <laughs> That's Yay. the whole story. You realized it was a good thing you'd run away from the ritual when you heard all the screaming. As a dark young ripped through the other cultists, then it dawned on you, exercise had saved your life. You spent the next years of your life promoting the advantages of exercise and even developed a new technique called jogging, where you ran without being chased. It was something only someone as crazy as you could have come up with. Nice. The game made the joke I wanted to. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Great. I love it. Oh. You, you, never, oh, you never saw the end of the ritual. In your blinded state, you weren't quite sure where the tree of the dead was, and the bark you had felt was in fact not the bark of a tree, but the skin of a dark young. As you started carving the runes into the flesh of the dark young, there was a yelp, a growl, a chomp, and then just more darkness. <laughs> Did you notice the hook on your lip? Because it's yeah. a fish person. Because I've, yeah, I've been captured. Oh. No, I think it's just a joke because of the fish. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Puppet Master drives to well, Pippin. And Earth Shattering Kaboom! Really Where's the Kaboom? This is supposed Where to be an Earth, Earth Shattering Kaboom! kaboom. <laughs> nerds. Participant <laughs> Looney Tunes me? Nope. is nerds. <laughs> yes. Apparently. We got the Puppet Master no thing idea. twice, I guess, yeah. Uh, all, I I will, all I will say is they snuck in a Sword in the Stone reference and I'm super happy. Five <laughs> points for bird escaping. And Pimpin was yep. also bird. How many of them are bird? <laughs> uh, what's the high priest one? It should show the it should the description for the other ones. Oh yeah, the ritual instrument roll. I think that's me I don't doing. Think I got that's, it. That's, that's I me doing my. You. That's me doing my job correctly. Just Just master. Master. <laughs> oh, two of us had ten influence. Pimpin. I don't think I did more anything. than ten points in riches. Oh, that's me too. Oh, that wasn't me. Yep. That okay. wasn't the pimpin moment you had. Just right, I was literally thinking. a pimp. Played a round of Fathagan. That's just playing. Successfully escaped being sacrificed. Cool. So, so I didn't get anything. No. <laughs> on my character. Uh, you were man. here for flavor. We collect. We collaboratively all got uh, two points, but I got five yeah. points, and Bird got six points. Mhm. Mm and yeah, it's just it. 
We did it, guys. We got 14-something for next game. However that works. 